All right, everybody. I think we have some sunshine. Finally. Everybody, this is uh, Scott Lucas with Johnny on Full Contact Derby TV in Perryton, Texas. And I tell you what. Well, I'd like to tell you that's uh, this is the first time that I've ever seen the arena like that or I've ever seen a storm like that. But that would be a lie, Johnny. We've been through this before, Perrington. We've lived through it. Um, they put on a great show last time this happened. So um, drivers will be ready. Officials will be ready. Uh, looks like, you know, the crowd's already filling in. So, Well, what I'm really excited about is the track. They, were, they scraped this down to the hard pan. It was just hard as nails, and I was so excited that, that those heats were going to be nasty. Now, give me a little bit of a ice skating drink for yeah, the, a heat or two. Yeah, first few heats will be a little slick. There, there might be a few holes out there where, uh, you know, it might be a little deep, but it's it's sandy, but it's it's solid. Yeah, I mean the tractors are out there for what a good hour and a half trying yeah. to pull water, and they didn't put one rut in there at all. So it's once it gets churned up, it's going to be pretty good. First heat is lining up. So this is going to be new for me because you know Utah does the wagon wheel start, so you guys aren't doing that. No. Are you doing it anywhere park? Or are they doing a side by side? Looks like. Okay. Sorry, we're getting some information on the heats, guys. Trying to wrap up some. More. That's one, and that's two. Yeah, the rain has definitely thrown in some yeah, yeah. <laughs> administrative headaches. I told everyone, I texted him on the, the comments here, I says, there's rain everywhere. It was coming through the windows. We had to use shirts and paper and anything we could find to shove in the holes to, to stop the rain from coming through the windows all over the electronics. So if we get a little glitchy, you'll know why we're shorting out. So. Let's see if Jake can go over to the camera two, Jake, or three. Let me see that real quick. So it looks All like, right. we, yeah, we've got drivers from Kansas, Colorado, right here, Parrington, Spearman. So Dylan. Dylan Dittmer. Dittmer. Yeah, Dylan. Uh, from Kansas. Yeah, Dylan. Uh, Ronnie Acreage from Parrington. Tony, we'll just run down it real quick. Yeah. Tony Herndon from Parrington. Sam Garrett from Dalhart. Dalhart, is that Texas? Yep, yep right here in Texas. Right. Peyton Mitchell from Parrington. Jer Jeremy Rowland from Spearman. Spearman? Yep. Texas also? Yep. I'm sorry. Cody Lossie, that's uh, Tiny's cousin okay. from Parrington. Yeah, Michael Balzer from uh, Parrington here. Connor Dehan from Spearman. Callan Cranmore from Julesburg, Colorado. All right, we're like about to get this underway, and I tell you what, I don't want to be in a wall. I think it's going to be more like a, a avalanche if you get buried. Yeah, oh yeah, I, yeah, we have seen that in. here. All right, here we go. So this is our mod. No, this is limited this well is limited here. Well. Started with All limited right. well. You got uh, Josh Turner, and uh, Josh uh, performed pretty well last year. His brother won it. Chad's not here this year, but. Uh, Josh came down from Nebraska. Okay, now we gotta. We'll come back to this real quick, but we also have to pick a like, Gladiators of Steel. So if you have any votes that you want to put in there, please message us. Also, message us from where you're from. We'll give you a shout out here. Oh, that is a soupy, soupy mess. Good traction still, though. It's actually going to help the cars because the damage isn't going to be as severe because they're just going to spin. But here's a perfect example. We have a heat of all Parrington, and they should take out the out-of-state guy. Yeah, so, so yeah, I mean, Josh Josh Turner, obviously out-of-state. Josh, big name in the derby world. Callan Cranmore, Colorado, and then uh, Dylan Dittmer. Dylan came down from Lynn. Big hit there. There we Ooh. go. And 
Who's That's Dylan, Dylan Dittmer. He's Dylan not afraid. Dittmer. Yeah, he's All not right. afraid to. Well, a lot of these guys are talking about saying uh, they've been driving the same cars year after year. He's going after Losi real. That's, that's two big hits on Losi that he's done. Yeah, fresh, fresh 73. He's, hunt, he's hunting him. Yeah. Looks like we got uh, 22. Ooh, there's a good one there. 22 hung up in the berm. This is a really weird shaped arena, everybody. It's kind of a teardrop. Yeah. Oh, nice hit. Nice 55X. And, and down Another there. one coming. Down there in the corner is soupy. Real, you don't want to get yeah, down there. That's where they're dragging all the yeah. water out. So how do the rules work here with a pin to win or two yeah. guys attacking one car? Yeah, so you, uh, are you it, this, to this is all individual. So no team driving, no pin to win. Um, get them off so, of them. So one bumper rule, basically. If it's two friends on one, they got to have one bumper only on a. On get, the, get them off. Yeah. Yep. So get them off. Um, short hold time. You can see. You'll see the officials flag, flagging them back. Try to get them to back up. Yeah. The, we give them a, a one minute clock. Okay. Two fire rule. Roll over out. No. They. Um, if safe, can keep yep, going. Yep. That's different. So we let the guy that did hit made the rollover keep going, but the guy that got rolled over, we don't let continue. We consider that a kill shot. Their traction's really pretty good in this. Thirty-four X about. Thirty-four X about. A few a few drivers out. out. Yeah. Don't point at it. Some of the local guys out, I think. Yeah. I think Sam Garrett, Dow Hart's out. I think Connor Dehan is out. And I'm liking the way nine's driving. Yeah, nine. yeah. Dylan Dittmer. Dylan Dittmer? Yeah, Dylan he won. Uh, on a show. As, as much as he can in the soup. So we got to give him a benefit of the doubt. Uh, bumper down. Two bumpers. Oh, and this one's almost off. Dylan won the original King of the Ring oh, in Nebraska. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. That was a long time ago. Yeah, I'm actually very shocked the traction they're getting with that. I wonder if they're going to scrape. Have you seen those come through the floorboard? I have. Yeah, it's nasty. Uh, yeah. We had a broken axle tire, and it come up in between the um, firewall and the back of the block. He, he lucked out and didn't come through the floorboard. Got Leon Rumsey on the mic for the arena. Leon, the regular official for us. Right. I don't know if I'd want to be official today. It's a little muddy. I actually thought about bringing my muck boots, and I'm like, eh, nah. It's this is extra luggage, right? Yeah. Down from three, three, two, one. Let's go. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six rolling still. Seven. It looks like Cranmer's stuck. All right, everybody, we're kind of leaning towards number nine here. Give us your thoughts on what you think the gladiator is going to be for the heat. I was talking the TSL car. I'm not sure who that is. The TSL. That's a Peyton Mitchell from right here in Parrington. I was talking to him earlier. He got that car for free, put the plates on it, and brought it. That's all he did to it. He traded a Monte Carlo, a running driving Monte Carlo right, for yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, Peyton comes every year, a lot of these guys, and they'll just pull it out, you know, this week, fix it back up. You can almost get away with that. With It's almost like two heats. Yeah. I mean, if you're not in the main, you're, you're pretty well. 
maybe even one. And no, you can get more runs out of it. Six cars still going. Turner's out there. Dittmer. Colby Bourne, 55X. Someone asked what heat this is. You joined us for heat number one, Time. starting late because of the rain. Ah, who do we have coming out now? So A1, JBJ. That's uh, Ronnie Acreage. JBJ A1. Looks like TSL made it. Number nine made it. I don't know. We'll talk about this Gladiators real quick and explain it, but who do you think who do you have for that one? I, I don't know how you not don't go with Dylan Dittmer on that one. Mark that down, Dylan. You know, Dylan comes from a, a Derby and family. His dad derbied for years and years and years. And right. Oh, he's got uh, two brothers. One of them's here, Dawson. We'll see Dawson in the next heat. And another brother, um, Denton. Denton. And Denton derbies too. So they all they all derby. Well, it's fine. I was talking to you know I was going to say during the prize pool when we're doing the prize money, the one family's dad. Who was that? Um, Jerry Merrick. Merrick. Yeah, the Merrick family. Ran the first derby here in 1969. That's like four I was four years old. <laughs> and won first place and took home a whopping 50 bucks. 50 bucks. So what we have here is the official Gladiators of Steel hat. What's different about it is the only way you can get this hat. That's how that works, guys. So your input to help us on the next couple heats. All right, everybody, so Full Contact Derby TV presented by Gladiators of Steel. This is a, have you seen any of the clips yet? I have, yeah, yeah it's awesome. What'd you think? Yeah, it's really, yeah, it's cool. It's a different perspective. Yep. It's, it's not a reality show, it's a documentary. Gladiators of Steel, go to the uh, website, go to the YouTube channel, subscribe, and you'll get all the updates. This show and is, and is uh, the other full contact every shows you can find them on there. The one clip I watch over and over is the the, the doctor one. Yeah. Uh, with the abuse we take to the body and everything. You have no clue when you're driving that your head went through the back window and come back. I and mean, your adrenaline is so tight and so high that you know you like adjust your helmet and and you keep going. And then I watch that footage and you just go, what am I doing? That that is just a brutal, brutal segment of that show. hits are the ones you don't see coming. Injuries, they happen. All right. We have broken ribs. You have no idea you even broke a rib. You have a broken finger. You have no idea you broke a finger. But they're not missing Derby Day. They won't do it. They'll wrap it up. They're going to go compete. You're getting hit with a 4,000-pound vehicle. This is fender bender times 10. I think the biggest thing with car accidents is just the amount of energy that's transferred. It's you're taking all of that energy and it's passing through the body. When you see somebody that's in demolition derby, it, it's the type of thing where that, when that comes to town, whoever's on call knows that they'll, they'll have something to do that evening. 
I've been to a couple myself, and I sit there amazed that these people get in and do what they do. In a car accident, like any part of your body is, is, is game, truthfully. So anything from your feet that might be resting on the pedals all the way through your knees into the hips, into the spine, which usually takes a brunt, and then the whiplash. And also the brain. Though the brain is also sits in that little cage and it's it's moving back and forth. Well, I'm surprised I ain't walking around with a drool cup, you know, and walking around all kind of goofed up and from as many concussions as I have. I, I mean, I've had a lot of concussions. Hit me in the trunk, my head went back, and I hit the pillar with my helmet. I got out of my car and I'm <clears throat> I'm looking around and I'm like, where the hell am I? I got in my truck and I'm like, damn it, where the hell's my steering wheel? And I was in the back seat. That's, that's how far out of it I was. I had a concussion. I mean, bad concussion. Doctor says it's all right. You know, give me another CAT scan or whatever. And everything looks OK, and we keep doing it. When I have a patient who's a demolition derby driver, I can advise them, hey, you, you've got to be careful. This is something that, that can end in, in long-term injury and pain. But they, they typically, they're people that love what they do. And uh, in the end, we appreciate their business. Well, we were having a conversation uh, going through inspection, just the, the variety of, of seat selection. So some of them are having racing seats. Well, th you know, there's no give in those racing seats. No. Some are the original seats that came in them. And, you know, and, and some, you know, uh, they use the same seat. Luck, you know, whatever it might be. I still do. Right? <laughs> it's soft. Uh, how many derby helmets have you seen? Uh, uh, Chips. The, it's cracked. just on the top, yeah. right? You know, it's Hitting just. the head. I'm that's it. That. So I do, I do like the documentary aspect of it. Um, it's, I think that's a different aspect that we can bring to the community that opens up different perspective for other people that may not be familiar with Demolition I, Derby. I tell everyone, the people that don't know us think we're a bunch of beer-drinking heathens that take a hammer to the glass and go out and smash cars. They have no clue the technology we put into it, the time, money. I mean, this is NASCAR-esque on the builds on these. All right, coming into heat number two. Oh, Derek Court's coming in. Who's the first car coming in? Number eight. Eight, that's Nate Arahu from Nebraska. Yeah, four X is, is that a girl? Jaden. Oh, Jaden. All right, I thought it was Jocelyn there. Jaden Garcia. That's my handwriting. Car number 12. That's uh, Dallas Bentley. Okay. 12X. 32. And the one thing I notice is, is the Parrington group is pretty young. Yeah, yeah. Kyle Osborne. Well, Larry from Nebraska. It's a pretty white car for 30 seconds. There's the other Dittmer. Okay. Dawson. Stephen Drake. Right here in Parrington. In 69. JR Willem. 69. Yeah, that's that's Dittmer. And then uh, Willem just came on. JR right here in Parrington. Yeah. Another one. So another opportunity for the locals to take out the yeah, big dogs. Yeah, hope so. Minus five, negative five, Brett Robinson. All right, here we go. A couple fresh cars out there. I don't know, you know, watching the other cars, I don't know if that's an advantage. The other guys there are all plated up and good to go. Court with well, a nice hit uh, right there, starting off. Seven had him lined up and had to hit the brakes. Oh, there, Court with another good hit. Oop, up, over the berm. There's 
Larry coming out. He was stuck in that mud puddle down there. Nate ran it. Uh, pretty sure Nate ran at Capital Carnage this year. Okay. Quite a few Vicks in this heat. Justin thought other than to keep going after Derek, and he shouldn't have. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I saw Derek's car, and that's a nasty car. I'd be sitting on the side of that and trying to wait and stay away from the front end. Justin builds pretty hard cars, so it's kind of interesting they're already going at each other. Be nice if they took the buckets in and just scraped that one more time. Well, that's a good hit by Osborne. Courts just hunt out. What's the uh, hit time on this? Minute. Uh, minute. Yep. Minute. One minute. Lightning. Lightning. There's another cell that's supposed to be circling by us, so hopefully it uh, circles north of us. A good hit there, 32. I'm not seeing anyone standing out yet. Kyle Osborne. If anyone right now, it's court. He's still picking on Klein. Or is Klein picking on him? I says, no, I got to get away and reload here. Oh, we got a mad dog. Yeah. A Osborne. Osborne, yep. yep. One Mad Dog automatic advance to the feature. I hate driving on these tracks because you get nothing but a face full of mud. Uh. Look at look at his face on his helmet and. A lot of dancing going on. Yes, he does. Same with Klein. That trunk is just packed all in. Yeah. I think Derek could hit that all night and it ain't going to go nowhere. Been hit by Garcia. Like I said, one of the best things is the blessing is the mud. The damage isn't there. Well, that's Derek going after Justin again. No, not unless you can lay that bumper right on that wheel. Uh, did he get him up? Nope. He tried. He should try again. Bad blood between those two. 
Jake, go to camera three. Watch these two battle it out here for a minute. Oh, now they've locked bumpers. Now they got to help each other. <laughs> Someone better knock them loose, they might get timed out. There we go. Ashley G Gay, born and raised in Parrington. What, why aren't you here watching? Kansas City, Nick McElroy. Red flag going on for some reason here. <laughs> As the officials jump through the mud puddle. I think somebody's getting a talking to is what's happening. Derek's getting a talking to. I don't know if he wants them to find, they pull them off maybe. Or tell them to mix it up with someone else. Or yeah, those are talking to They're just giving them a little chit chat on right. what they expect. And yep, telling them all to mix it up probably. And as an official that does this, all you're doing is telling them. They ain't going to listen. <laughs> All right, we'll get Jimmy Christian off the track. We'll get these guys going. All right, the crowd wants to hear him hit. Let's go. Three, two, one. Let's go. We start taking off lug nuts at our shows. Really? That's interesting. It didn't help either. <laughs> we started putting the time limit on them. We say, show's over. Or noise oh, yeah. ordinance is 11. It's right. 15 yeah. to 11. Get busy or we're splitting the money between everybody. They get busy for some reason. <laughs> this is just a slower paced heat. I don't know if I have a gladiator yet. I still don't. What do y'all think? Anyone out there impressing you this heat? Jason Hargis from Carlsbad, New Mexico. Johnson Leon from Chadwick, Illinois. Which is a pretty thing when you see all them trunks all packed in all nice. Only one that's got an issue really is 12X. Kind of going down versus up. You know, Larry, Larry Steinbeck's been a little quiet this heat. He has been. So we'll get into this in a little bit too, but so Larry signed up for our points championship and you guys are running your own points championship. Um, I'm not sure what your rules are. Ours are you got to run three of the Stern Dirt shows, and then you can run two other outside shows. With them. You guys don't always go to Utah. Then this year we partnered up with uh, five different shows out of Utah that earned your spot. So you had to run three Stern Dirt shows or two actual Stern Dirt shows and one um, 
of the sponsored shows. And the sponsored shows, you got 20 bonus points for showing up to help that support to drive those drivers to yeah. those shows for them. And it's worked out really well this year, and it's really put a, a big difference in the points. Is if you show up and get one of them, and, and do do we do double points, um, the bonus points, you can mulligan if you have a bad night. You can um, the one catch is because this happened last year. The one catch is if you go to a derby that does not have twenty cars, they're half points. Okay. Because last year we had a couple guys they were going to them yeah. seven car shows yeah. and yeah. winning and banking all the points. Well, ours is our – we do it in our stock class, so we do it by regions. Kansas and Missouri. Oh. You do it by regions. We do it by region. Okay. So we split – So you have a winner in each region? So, uh, so we um, – we do have one winner in each region, but you can only win if you show up for our main championship event. So we give you points if you show up at our main championship event. Okay. But uh, we have six different regions. That's nuts. I've already enough time tracking but, the ones I but, got. But um, since we, uh, we combine it with our grandstands attractions promotions out of Missouri, uh, Illinois, Missouri, so we, we do some Missouri shows. Which car is Robinson in? Robinson is in negative five. What used to be, I think, a white and blue, red, white, and blue car. So he may not be talking yeah. to us, Mr. Garcia, yeah. 14 years old. He, he actually caught my eye on a couple of those hits. So not knowing he was 14, that was pretty impressive. Well, I think uh, Dane Staggs was out there. He was, I think, 15. So a couple young young guys out there. Held their own for most of the heat. Yeah. I think that was uh, Dane's very first derby. Had to be. Jaden's first one. Mitch. How are we doing? Good. Mitch Kelly. How you doing, sir? Good. Grab a headset real quick. I am a rookie at this, so y'all All right. Here you're a pro. <laughs> they told us to give you a chat because uh, you've got a mouthful of history about this show. Well, I grew up here. Okay. I started there. Born, born and raised? No, I was born in Arlington, Texas, and we moved up here like when I was in fourth grade. Um, and then, you know, when I was 18, I started running up here. Okay. And uh, Which is how many years ago? <laughs> that was like in probably 1980. See, if that was, that was a female driver, I wouldn't be able to ask that question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not allowed anymore, is it? But, uh no, uh, this this show's always been a good show, and uh, it's changed a lot. You know, Perry and JCs used to run this, and you know, the Wheat Heart Celebration was it's it's really big here, and it's always been big, and it still is. Mm -hmm. And it's great for this community, and it's never died ever. It's always been strong. So, so we had a question. So this weekend's the Derby. Last weekend was the Rodeo. What are the other two weekends? What do they do? Well. I don't know because I don't live here anymore. Okay. But back in the day, 
it used to all happen on Saturday. We did the parade in the morning, and then we, you know, they had the free barbecue, everything all day, and uh, then we had the derby, and it was just a great venue. Good fun. The whole time, yeah. And uh, So how many times did you race in this one? Uh, probably about seven or eight. How many did you win? Uh, one. That's actually pretty good. Well, you know, a lot of guys I've known for a lot of years that haven't won nothing. So yeah, it wasn't easy. I mean, I started when I was eighteen. I was still going to school and stuff, you know. And you know, there's a lot better people here than me. You know, Joe Hibbert, Outlaw Promotions. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> he was running. We used to run against each other back then. And you know, Jimmy Dorman, Terry Dorman, Ronnie Dorman. They used to run this thing. They run. They used to win in everything here. And uh, they had it going on way better than we did, you know, yeah. back in the day. And they, they, they all still live here and everything, but they don't run anymore, yeah. you know. And, and you know, but you know how it's changed yeah, so right. much. But Dormans From, are still around. We we still see them around in the yeah. pit, still hanging oh, yeah. out. Oh yeah. And you know, Jake, Tiny, you know, he's related. His wife is a uh, Dorman, and uh, so you know, it kind of still filters in to the family. Okay. You know the way we look at it, and. Uh, they're great people. So, um, so how have the builds changed since you started? You know, used to. <laughs> my girlfriend's dad gave me a Chrysler New Yorker. He didn't have a title for her. most beautiful white car, white leather interior. And I said, are you really going to let me just beat the windows out of this thing and build it? And he's like, go ahead. And I was like, for real? And he said, yeah. So. You know, it's changed, you know, you beat them out, dash bar, you know, your basic stuff back in the day. But today, you know, it's so competitive with, you know, depending on what class you're running, you know, you can run the mods, uh, you know, which takes a lot of money because you've got your protectors and everything that you're trying to do. Um, it's, it's changed a lot, and it's a lot more money. Like, oh, my, yeah. nep my nephew's Definitely. running in the mod class here tonight. <clears throat> it's almost stupid money. Yeah, and the thing is, is like he's like he's been hanging out with me and my son in my shop, and he's uh, he's like Uncle Mitch, I want to, I want to start running. I go, well, what class you want? He goes, I want to do what you guys are going to do. I go, can your checkbook handle it? And he goes, like I'm ready. And he went out and he spent like twenty thousand dollars on parts, and he got into it, and he's still. He's getting there, you know, but he's not quite there yet. Right. And he just runs VIX, right? Yeah, yeah. so far. And uh, But he, he's he got the right mentality, you know, and he knows it's not easy because there's a lot of good competition out here today. All right, I mean, we're, we're going to keep chatting. We're going to flip over. They're loading the next heat right now. Let's introduce them real quick. And we'll... Okay. Let's see. This, so these are our mods. Let's see. So heat one. Brandon Eisenhower, double odd. Yeah, just come on back. Um, I'm trying to read your handwriting here. So Marcus Araya, 58. Anaya. From Anaya. Yep. Oh, he was a good kid. I talked to him for quite a while. Your um, brother's right there. Yeah, you got together. two brothers. Family, they had the painter. They, they all their, their whole pit crew had different names on them to, to chit-chat. Uh, Trey Kelly. From yeah. Louisiana. Yeah, that's uh, that's, that's uh, Mitch's nephew. Okay. He's in the second heat. So. Oh, we're in heat one. Yep. That's right. Yeah. Ace Anya. Am I saying that right? Anaya. Ace, Anaya. 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 Yeah. From Parrington, 88. Dave Kite. So Dave hit. Kyle. Dave Kyle. Your, your writing is Dace. horrible. I, hey, but For that's why I'm a doctor. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and... So, yeah, ones yeah. With them, so we got uh, Adam Klein that just came out there. Okay. And then Colby Black should be pretty close behind him. Perfect. Those cars will look very similar because they were teammates up at uh, Oakley where we run a team show.
Brandon went down. Looks like it. And I is looking at his carburetor. Something's going on. It's always the silly things. Yeah. Yep. So it looked like there's a little bit more limited weld cars than it was the mods, it looks like, apparently. It, you know, it's it's kind of funny because, you know, me and Scott have been talking all day about it. The wire class is coming back. Yeah. You know, I, I think the money is a big part of that. Oh, yeah. And uh, we're doing a show tonight. And I just talked to a Scooter and 60 cars showed up for a wire class. Yeah. That's just crazy. <clears throat> you know, and up there in the Lawrence, Kansas City area where I'm at, I mean, the bone stocks, they run that a lot, and they're paying. Um, I mean, my son and my nephew, they've been running a lot of, uh, they, you know, they got some bone stock compact team shows, you know, and, and uh, it's, uh, that's really big because, I mean, you know, you get 64 cars in there. Uh, for a night, that's a pretty good show, and, that, and then they that's still almost have, too many. Yeah, that's a, you know. yeah, and it, it makes for a late night, but it's a lot of fun because you got a good car count, you know, and and that's pretty strong up there where we're at. But then you know the mod, and it's more the Blizzard Bash Limited Weld is what they're they they change the rules a little bit. Jesse Kimmy up there with Pay Up Sucker, you know, is, he's the one that promotes in our area, and uh, he. Uh, kind of changes rules a little bit where you can run your old blizzard bash car because nobody has a place to run them right you know so he's made it where we can run those this year starting this year and the car count on the big cars you know went back up went back up so it's been a you know pretty good show and he's had a pretty good car count up there and they do they good they do a good job up there <clears throat> so well mitch we're going to talk to this young man behind you please hang, please hang around come back or hang around for a second. We'll just have with him so he can go fix his car. And you bet. Um, I want to watch my nephew run here. He's running next. So. All right. Well, this is the best place to watch it from. You bet. I might just stand right here. But All thank right. you, guys. Thank you, sir. You bet. <laughs> Who's this? They sent you up here for what reason? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't tell you the reason. <laughs> What's happening, Nate? Not a whole lot, man. So you blew up your. I blew another. You, tra you blew I broke another transmission. transmission. Yep. yep. Cracked it off the block. No, I pulled the pump bolts out of the ultra bell on on this one. So. No, uh, I didn't even notice. No tranny protectors to hold that all together on, on the no, limited not, well. Not in limited well, as far as I knew. So. We just put an Ultra Bell on it here a couple days ago and slapped the motor in it and decided to come down. Nice. So Last minute things? It was. I mean, uh, I was having my doubts because I was waiting on a bigger motor and my motor that I run at Blizzard Bash and it just didn't get done. So one of my teammates is like, hey, I got one in a crate. He's like, <laughs> he doesn't know the condition of it. He's like, go run it. And I was like, okay. <laughs> a crate motor? Yeah. No, it was, was just, it was just in a box like oh. out in the back. It was like stored. We didn't know what was wrong with it. <laughs> It blow is, the man. cobwebs off we and blew, go. We blew the cobwebs out of here. <laughs> so you were in heat two. Yep, I was in heat two. And this your first time coming down to Parrington? No, I was here last year. Yeah. I pulled down last year. From? From Lexington, Nebraska. Okay. That's about a six-hour drive. So, no, I got to be pretty good friends with Jeremy and for Tiny and stuff. And, you know, it was one of those deals where we wanted to run away from home and – we came down here and to a rainstorm. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> we, we actually got to see what rain looked like. We don't get much back home anymore, yeah. so it was kind of nice to see that. But yeah, Tiny was the hospitality down here last year with everybody after the show, during the show. It was yeah. it was unmatched. So we were like, it's a pretty good show. We're wanting to make it a regular deal. Nice. Well, so, we have to kick it over to Utah too sometime. <laughs> That's a little farther drive. Yeah, that's, that's a little longer than six it. hours. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. But you yeah, run Blizzard Bash too. Yep. Yeah. I ran Blizzard Bash this last year. Uh, we were actually against Tiny in the. We drew his heat last year, so the, we kind of threw it down down there at Blizzard Bash and had a good time. So. That's great. You the only one in your family, running the, running the shows anymore? Yeah. Yeah. I had an older brother that used to run. He don't do it no more. They kind of got out of it. And I actually sold out. 
back in like 17, I bought a bunch of stuff, sold out, got away from it, and helped a friend build a Blizzard Bash car. Got and the then bug. after that, yeah, got it was the all. Bug and here we go. <laughs> Why did I get rid of all that stuff? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now it cost it, twice as much. <laughs> it was definitely twice as much to buy back in. I mean, that's that's one of those things. I got a lot of friends and stuff that talk about selling out and it's one of those deals it's like just hold on to what you can because it's it's a lot of money to buy back in now now we we had uh you know at the time it's a great decision and at the time it's the right price mm -hmm. we, we were talking uh, i mean tiny we we're talking says at one point we had 400 cars and most of them were wagons and a couple of years ago we just unloaded the wagons at that time for 1500 bucks each right and now they're with thirty five hundred bucks each. Thirty five, you know? yeah, and up. And I mean, back yeah. then, I was like, "Hey, we got them for free when we just made fifteen hundred bucks. <laughs> that's pretty freaking awesome." Yeah. Well, that's just old iron in general, not yeah. just the wagons. Yeah. I mean, I, there's some people back around home that are like, "Yeah, I used to crush impalas all the time," and it's like now you know everybody's asking two grand for old oh. iron. It's just it's unreal what it costs to buy old iron anymore. Iron, period. Well, yeah. <laughs> we were yeah. talking yeah. that earlier. So just, yeah. Forget about the parts. Just the steel to weld it together is just, right. just, yeah. just silly. Uh, we we actually have a bunch of guys. I actually have a couple of bolt-in cages. Really? And for the limited, our limited weld, not this limited weld, for our limited weld, actually it would be okay in this one. Uh, they're actually quite ingenious. You know, mm -hmm. Cut the roof off, pop two welds, and the whole thing comes out. Right. Takes you an hour to put it back in and... Yeah. One one time by. So we got one car left and got him lined up. That's good. I am gonna go hit him up, tell him to build me a roof sign. That glow in the dark thing. <laughs> that should actually be mandatory. It's for us. It makes it for, nice for, up here. Oh, yeah. From anywhere. Pulling in. Oh yeah. No, if that, I think that's the barbecue smoke. Is that the barbecue? Well, <laughs> it's getting black again. I see that. That's all we need is more water. So you got any more shows left other than Blizzard Bash, Nate? No, not planned this year. Well, I'm signed up for Cornhusker Chaos there in Kearney, Nebraska. And, uh, I think it's like December 31st and yeah, the 1st. first of the year, yeah. Yeah, it's usually indoor? the first. Or is there no yeah, snow? it's, it's indoor. 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 Okay. Yep. Yeah, thankfully last year it snowed during chaos, so <laughs> it was nice to be inside. We did one show in January, snow show. It was a, um, some cops got shot, and we did a fundraiser and just said, hey, no prize money, everybody come out. We're just going to give all the money to, to the families. And, uh, yeah, that was not fun. It was <laughs> a muddy, frozen, cold, great derby, but whew. Yeah, as of right now, it's just Bash and then Cornhusker Chaos. And we'll see how the car holds up after Bash. I mean, I usually try to take that car, if anything, but we'll see how it goes. Right. So do you run Nebraska rules mainly? Yep. Nebraska yep. shows? Yep, mainly stick. Well, I mean, I, I last couple of years, I've only ran two or three shows here and there. It's been hit and miss. Yeah. I know you've come down to Salina and ran a couple of our shows. Yeah, I went to King of the Ring last year and ran down there in May, and I think that was the – one of three i only ran three shows last year too so it's kind of hit and miss it's you get the itch you go do it <laughs> i don't know it's taking them so long to get a loader in here looks like one of their teller handlers went down So are you part of the points race? No. Nope. No, he builds too big of a car. I don't know anything yeah. about points. <laughs> yeah. Unless you get points on how to build. <laughs> <laughs> so done for tonight. Yep, done for tonight. I guess it's Miller time or yeah. Keystone time oh, or no. whatever the flavor is. Nope, right? down here it's Dos Equis Lime and Salt. Dos, there you go. Right. <laughs> It's pretty hard to find back home, so I'm always giving tiny crap. I'm like, dude, you better send some of that stuff my way. <laughs> Yingling is what they have down here. What is it? Yingling. Yingling? Yingling. It's the oldest brewery in America. Your East Coast guys will know it. Okay. But they, you can get it in Texas, but you can only get it east of the Mississippi River. Really? But Texas and east of the Mississippi River. Never heard of it. I've never even. Oldest brewery in America. Hmm. It's a little stiffer, so may not be your flavor. Right. Stout. 
It's not just quite that, stout. No, just, it's, it's just, 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 just a little, 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 little dark. No, it's just a little darker. Gotcha. But it's good. I'm always up for experiments. <laughs> of course, last year, Tiny had uh, apple pie moonshine. Yeah, yeah. We, don't, we don't speak of that experience. Uh, <laughs> that, <laughs> it was rough. That, that, that's what we do at Havoc. We do big. Good. I don't think any of us made it up for hotel breakfast last year. <laughs> no, not at all. That was a long ride home. All right, so hopefully... We'll get to watch this heat. Sorry, everybody, again. Yeah, we should have seven in this heat. Okay. And this should be fun because uh, other than Trey Kelly, they're all pretty much from here around this area. Yeah. Kyle Brimmer's from Scott City, Kansas, but you got five local drivers. 33, Jeremy Rowan out of Spearman. We got the 27, Trey Kelly. Oh, All right, so coming into the arena. That's Jeremy Rowland right there. Jeremy uh, double dipping tonight, running a car in both classes. The number three, Kyle Bremer, coming in next after the 27. 27 is Trey Kelly, Mansfield, Louisiana. That's that's Mitch's nephew. He pulls from Mansfield every year. Comes, grew up here in Parrington, so this is his hometown show. One one one. Kyler Jordan, IOU team. That's a catchy name. I like that one. Tiny man of the night. Kyle Brimmer came in. 24X is uh, Jared Crower. One, two, three, four, five, six. The 70. Seven, seven cars. Tiny Lossy. <coughs> 51. Mike McElroy. Mike didn't want to run, but he <laughs> pulled it out and fixed it up this week. It always works that way. Peer for some pressured reason. into just, it. Yeah, yeah. It's just always. There's our seven cars. Yep. All right, here we go. Right off the bat, right up in the berm. See if you can get out. Well, short work of the... Can't even tell you what number that is. I think it's number three, looks like. Number yeah. three. Now that they've spun around, get it fired, he can get out of that. Kyler having some training issues, maybe? No, he's in, I don't think he's got his motor running. He's got some smoke coming out of the headers, and then he's out. That's the worst feeling, pulling yeah. into the arena and not even making a hit. In a fresh car. In a fresh car. I've done that a couple times, and you just, just like our feed, it's all mechanical, and something can break right off the bat. You don't even know. Unfortunately, I know that situation all too well from last year. We brought a fresh car down, played for six minutes for a six-hour drive, and broke transmission. So <laughs> I know what that's like. Well, hopefully you can figure it out and get back here in the Conti. And... Definitely. Number seven's really been on it. Yeah, it looks like they're going to pull him for the Mad Dog. Yeah, it looks like it. I think Chad yeah, just that, waved, that's waved that's Tiny that's off for Mad Dog. Oh, Tiny's going to take one. Car. That is Tiny 
seconds. We got four left. Round, rallying got black flag. It looks like the green and black car. Is he out or in? Is he? What's he doing? You need to get in your car, buddy. Throw your flag. That's when you take those shots that you don't know about. You, you have, leave your flag up when you're not supposed to. Trey Kelly, nice hit. I still see four running. I think someone timed out and he don't know it yet. Sorry, Leon, there's four. Yeah. Well, Leon was wrong, jumping the gun a little. <laughs> All right, still got four going, everybody. Trey's working him, though. We can get that rear end up. Yeah. Trey's got him high centered on there now. Back off. See, if, see, got any friends out there? Is this question? Knock him free. There you go. Push him in deeper. No, he's the he's the one out of true out of stater. <laughs> is that the same car that Trey had here last year? Is it same Trey? Same car last year? Yeah. Was it? That's what I thought. Did you have a gladiator that heat? I don't know how you don't I, pick tiny. I, I, that's where I'm at, so. All right. Hey, thank you, guys. I yep. Thank you, sir. Stop at any time. Mitch. Thank you. Tiny Mad Dog and Gladiator. I really wish they'd just take this top layer off. I think it'd be so much better. Looking at it, it looks pretty bad from up here, but actually being on it, that's it's a pretty good hard pack Is underneath, it? yeah. Yeah, we noticed that. I just think there's a little more. Yeah, maybe when There'll be a little more, I guess, I'm looking for the damage. You yeah. Know, <laughs> you're getting hit and you're getting spun. You're not getting, you're getting pushed around right. a lot easier. Yeah, I was a little worried when we pulled in here last year. It, it looked about like this all the way across there, and I was a little worried. And then they're like, Tiny, oh, don't worry about it. It's, it's pretty hard packed underneath. And it was definitely a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. Right, well, they're moving right along for starting an hour and a half late, so yeah. we're doing good shape. Yeah, I think they said in the pit meeting they had to get everybody through. The heats had to be through by 9 o'clock or something. I don't well, know. 901. 901. <laughs> Got them done. <laughs> 901 gets them done. Teat, because that, that grudge is going to be pretty fast. We'll see. Usually there's a little bit. Yeah, he'll, he'll drag it a little bit. All right, and again, Full Contact Derby TV presented by Gladiators of Steel. Make sure you come in and sign up for the YouTube channel. Get on the website, subscribe to get all your updates. From what they're telling me, mid-October to early November is the release date. So as we get more information on that, we'll be able to shoot it out there. It was fun making that. You know, we did uh, Kings of Crash years ago. And when I say... Reality TV is not real. Gladiators of Steel is real. I mean, it, it being a documentary, there was the, the, there was nothing fake about it. I mean, there's no reason to be fake about it because you're telling uh, what we all go through. And uh, it, it's funny because when everyone talks about Kings of Crash, it's like, 
Yeah, I didn't say that. They just clipped it to <laughs> get the verbiage they wanted of it. Yeah, so they're giving, giving Concy drivers five, five minutes. minutes. All right. Yeah, he said he was going to keep it pretty quick. He wanted to try to get through this as fast as possible, but still give everybody a chance. So. Right. You know, when you're dealt with the weather, it's just something you have to deal with, and it is going to be what it is. I don't know if there's a noise ordinance here that they have to worry no. about. No. No. Some things are really nice about the small towns. Yeah. <laughs> All our shows are in the middle of the city, and it's like got to go get the extra permit in case you go to midnight. All right. Cars are out. Five-minute clock has started. So one of our other sponsors that we deal with is... Now, this one's a little dirty. You got to tell them why it's dirty. <laughs> yeah. This one was our window plugging... Um, yeah. Water catcher. <laughs> Water catcher trying to keep equipment dry, which it didn't do very good. But Derby Mafia is um, a shirt company that does fantastic shirts. They've been getting bigger and bigger. Um, the uh, graphics that they come up with, you know, I show this one. This is a. Uh, now these are all our shirt graphics, and all our drivers get these when they drive for whatever show. Yeah, that's awesome. And they're, they're doing. He's getting bigger and bigger, like trade. He's slowly growing bigger and bigger. But he wanted to do his own. So DerbyMafia.com is just just Derby stuff, and they're the official sponsor of the Gladiators of Steel Gear. And you can get on there and get all kinds of stuff. And they're growing. It's a small inventory right now. And, uh, but yeah, jump on there. Great guys. He's uh, actually out of Texas. The, the parent company is, uh, Bull Shirt TV or Bull Shirts. And then he spun off Derby, uh, just kind of like you. He'd never been in a car, never done. He just loves it. Yeah. And he just grabbed a hold of the shirts because that's what he does. And he's been making shirts pretty much up and down the West Coast. He does all the shirts. To for, come to your shows and hang out? A no. A little bit? No. no. Um, just, just. But the design. He he showed up at um, Smith Metal Works. He okay. did, He yeah. showed up for that show and uh, uh, for the conference thing that we do over there. Uh, he's I should say he's been to a couple shows, and, um, but he just loves the idea because there's so many different shirts you can design around this. Because every I mean all these cool names yeah, that we have. Right, yeah. It's just. Yeah. Um, let's see. I just did. Uh, let's see if I got it here. We just finished the design, so this is fresh off the presses. Our Halloween Havoc shirt. Oh, that's sick. That's very cool. Yeah. And we can show that up there and see how close it is. So, Halloween Havoc, all of our drivers. Uh, all of our drivers are um, given a hoodie, you know, as part of their entrance fee. They get a hoodie, free dinner, drinks afterwards, and all that, and that's. That's the new design for this year, so we're excited about yeah. it. And that's the first time anyone's seeing it. So October 1st at the Golden Spike Event Center is our year-end party, and you've got a year-end party coming up with the CDDA. Where's that one at? you got a new one, too. Yeah, so uh, October 8th, we'll, uh, 8th and 9th, um, we'll be in Salina, Kansas. Our normal end of year is Crashtoberfest. Okay. Two-day event. So on that Saturday, we'll do our end-of-year point series. So our bone stock point series will end on that Saturday. Okay. Then the following ye uh, weekend, we'll, we're new show, brand new show down in Lake of the Ozarks. Lake of the Ozarks. Beach Bash. So Ooh. we're going to finish it off in Missouri at the Beach Bash. Um, try that show. We've been to Missouri. We have uh, two new shows in Missouri we did uh, this year, trying to get a little footprint over in Missouri. Try mm -hmm. that. And then we also did King of the Ring at Lakeside Speedway, which is in Kansas City. So just trying to move a little bit farther east, get a few more drivers used to our rules, used to our build, right. and, and, and just it, spreading it. I, I think we talked to Chad about Missouri because they called us to do the Missouri show. It's mm -hmm. just too far for us, and we, and we called Chad to say, get all of him and uh, see if he can pull it off because yeah. he's a lot closer to you guys. And so and here comes the mad dog. Let's get see if he gets in here. Go grab him, Jake. Nate, we're going to kick you off, and we'll see if we can get Tiny in All here. Right, you appreciate you stopping yeah, by, you sir. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Okay. Thanks, Nate.
drive hard, you don't have to get Well, unfortunately, oh. you got it, baby. Good, I wanted one of these. It's it's sort of the right color. There's yeah. There's no red in it, but at least it's black, so it still fits with your motif. <laughs> you know, trying to when I first time I really did good, I painted my car red and black, and it's it's it stuck. stuck. It's stuck. I used to be red and white. It used to be green and black. It was all yeah. I don't. And, I don't. If you came out in a green car, I don't know what I'd do. I, it would just seem smack me. I hope weird. <laughs> odd. I'd have to. Gumby would love you. Yeah, yeah, his color green is a little ugly there. Yeah, he's got that kind of pea green, whatever Sorry. it is. So, before we talk about the heat, how was it in the pits for all that little fun little... Well, it was pretty awful. I thought we were going to get out, start doing driver's meeting next thing, and it just opened back up again. And uh rained again. Storm come through. And it was getting frustrating. You know, as much effort as I put into this show, right. I, I really wanted it to go really well. And uh, I was kind of getting down on it. Right. And just, I was like, man, are we going to have to cancel this thing or what? And finally, it let up. And the, and the track held up. I mean, that, that's the most amazing part is the track held up. So. It's slick. It's got a little little layer of slick on it, but Which underneath it's, past hard. it's hard. It's hard. Yeah. It's hard. So. But uh, I the think dri drivers are forgiving about it. They were really cool and easy to work with. Yeah, yeah. Everybody was happy. Glad we didn't cancel. There's a lot of guys were like, guys, if we cancel, I can't come. A lot of out of towners, I can't stay. I got to go home. I got to work on right. Monday. And some guys come from northern Nebraska, and that's a drive. Yeah. You know? So you're talking to Nate six, six, seven hours. Right, yeah. So a lot of them guys, they just couldn't stay. And I'm glad, glad it was able to let up and we're able to keep going. Sorry, guys. That's right. That's why I was telling Johnny, it's not the first time we've dealt with this, though. You know, no. It's, done, it's dumped like this on us before. Out of the four years I've been putting the show on, this is the third one it's rained, and considerable amount of rain. But it's been good. So. Well, the nice thing is you don't have mountains, because our mountains stop the storm, and we just keep getting pounded and pounded <laughs> and pounded. It just kind of blows through. I'm glad it worked out the way it did. And, and uh Drivers are happy. I know there's some stuff sliding around, some door shots happening, and some guys, some fans aren't happy. A lot of that stuff, like, I I just made a door shot, but, I mean, I was breaking the whole way, just slid right into him. Right. And uh, luckily everybody's seen. I had my hands up, let know it wasn't intentional. Right. And we kept going. Bremer, the guy that I'd hit, he gave me a thumbs up. He's, he knew. Right. Yeah, you know, we've, we've ran against each other before, so we're good. And, and you know, and we explained it in our driver's meeting, and I'm sure you do, you Driver's doors, most guys use it as a weapon anyways. Absolutely. You, you know, it's defense to, to, to do it. And if they're doing it, then don't point at your door at me. Right, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've used my door for defense as well, and sometimes it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> guys are going to hit it anyway. Right. But sometimes it pans out. But, no, I think it's been good. It's been good so far. Now, the crowd we had, uh, you weren't up here. We had the water was coming in, shorted out equipment and all that. Oh, no. we, we've dropped our feet a couple times, and we think, Thank you all for staying with us and jumping back on every time we go down. But uh, the the rain, I just it was amazing. I we haven't we haven't had a storm in Utah in that like years. I mean that was a pretty intense rain there for a while. It was pretty hard. It was blowing. Right well, I was up here that when the wind was yeah. blowing. Well, and it switched. The wind switched on us. Yep. There. It was nasty. So, but luckily, I think the weather's gone. We're it's gonna here. finish up good. It's are you, are you gonna scrape the arenas for the main? We have a box blade, and I think after the concies, we're going to scrape it, scrape out a it little off. And let, them, let them eat meat. I, I let, them, let them get after it. Sweet. So, in the heat. Well, I, I, needed, I, I was going for a mission. You, I wanted, and I'm sure you had a little frustration to give away. <laughs> I did. I, I told I, my buddy Michael, you know, me and him were teammates. His, teammates, my yeah. best buddy. We live next door to each other. We build together. He's my pit man. When I go to Blizzard Bash, he's my motor builder. I mean, that's my guy, and we're out there together, and and I said, well, are you going to get Mad Dog or am I? He goes, well, I know it's going to be a battle, but let's fight for it. So, luckily, I got lucky. I, I just, uh, with it being as slick as it was and the, the rear end I had and the tires, I didn't want to fight in that stuff. I wanted to get it done and get going. Yeah. Right, right. Well, let's so. talk, about, talk about that because other, other than one guy out there, you were all locals. I mean, I know I yeah. know Trey's from Louisiana, but he's from here. He's, you know, he's born, he's yeah. born, and raised here. He moved away a couple years ago. So um, I mean, it's it's locals out there. It so, was. So yeah, it's all local boys. So you, 
Didn't matter, did it? I didn't. I I wasn't gonna hit Michael. <laughs> That's my boy. But I I think I hit everybody. Yeah. And uh, I made sure I hit him full throttle. So. Yeah. <laughs> So you've grown the show from 12 cars. Tonight was a good car count. What did you end up with? We ended up with uh, 40 that ran, and we had four that ended up getting loaded, uh, just weren't quite built to the rolls. Right. And we have to be fair, you know, just so four guys got – so we would have had 44. We averaged 40. So every year since I've been here for the last four years, we've averaged 40 cars. Um, I know of six cars that were trying to build it to get here. They ran last week or the week prior. Just, just, weren't, just weren't able to get them done. Too much needed to be done. And a lot of those drivers are here. They showed up. Right. So at least they're here to watch. That helps our pit pass. And it fires them up for next year. Absolutely. I, I mean, like last year, you know, we had a good turnout, I think. And, I mean, we were, we were getting after it last year for sure. And and uh, these that's why a lot of these guys wanted to come. And then, of course, we raised the money this year. Our mm-hmm. sponsors were phenomenal this yep. year. Uh, we had – this is a $20,000 payout. Harrington has never had that. Yeah. I mean, this is. Well, yeah. It, it, we were just talking. That's a far cry from the $50 that was won in the first one in 1969. Yes. Yeah, from Mr. Merrick, uh, one of the local guys. Well, and I think it's changed. You know, we've been coming here, what, six years now, six, seven years. And the first year was Spearman, Parrington, Booker. Yeah. And now, you know, Nebraska, New Mexico. Yeah, we've got Kansas, guys, uh, Kansas, Nebraska, Colorado, New Mexico, Colorado, Louisiana, Louisiana, I mean, yeah, Texas. Yeah. Every surrounding state is here tonight, and that's a plus. And um, we had some guys that were from Dakotas that were calling me. He's like, man, if things work out, we'd love to be there. I mean, I've never had North Dakota or South Dakota guys call me. Right. And I mean, George just ride down, get on 83, and come down south. And they're playing on it. They just things happen. So. All right, we got uh, grudge match coming in for the limited. Yep. So, do you know how many we have? I do not. I, I know, know. I know that he's going to take. He's supposed to take half of the concede, so we can have a good a good final. So, you might only get two. We might. There was some carnage. There in was the, uh, surprisingly. Yeah, I, with as slick as it was, I didn't know. Well, looks like. Nope. Some guys. You just take them both. He, I'm at least gonna let them hit each other. A little play. You know that's Austin Billy. He took that car to Capital City Carnage this past year. First time ever running a big show. Uh, that's that Balzer. Yep. Young kid right there. He. Uh, I think this is his first year Derbyan. I know his cousin or brother ran before. Now you do you help give these guys advice at all being local or you know sometimes they'll call me they will call and they'll ask like austin i've talked to him some you know like i've ran i've ran carnage i've ran bash right and, and these guys they're just you know what specifically on the rules so i mean I've, I've helped them out some you know some of the guys you know they don't want my advice or yeah. do it on their own which that's fine i'm the same way I've, I've of course i've talked to chad and i've talked to some guys you know hey you know that have built a lot of old irons I mean, I have a few, and uh, I think I'm starting to really figure out the Buicks for sure, and that's that's my favorite. Mine too. So I've got several Buicks, and that's my. That's thing. all I have. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, if, if I find anything 71 to six GM, I'm I'm bringing it home. Right. Uh, most of the time, unless they get ridiculous. You still get price. a lot down here in Texas. No, I've bought them all. You They're all them. gone. Between you and uh, Derek. Between yeah, me, Derek. Uh, there's a couple guys that come down here and they they piddle in my backyard. I'm gonna I'm gonna start <laughs> slashing tires if I see them again. So no, I if I see them, I mean I'll try to buy them. They're they're, they're I tell my you, wife that's you, my that's my piggy bank. Well, you're dumb anymore. We're just talking about it. we sold we sold a bunch of wagons for fifteen hundred at the during, when we did it. That was top of the line, and now oh, yeah. you know twenty five, three grand, thirty five. I seen a guy pay five grand for a wagon the other. Yeah, I was just like. Oh. There, there was a guy that came down here. He, to wreck it. <laughs> he bought a clean – it was a clean wagon. It was a 73 uh, Chevy wagon, and he paid up to six grand on it, you know. I, Not for me, no. I've, I've got four wagons, and I've never paid more than $1,000 for mine. But, you know, that was years ago, guys, so don't, right, yeah. they're gone. Don't come down here. Yeah. yeah. Tiny comes to the hotel and says, yeah, I'm across the street. You'll see all the old iron. 
Oh yeah, none of it's for sale. <laughs> hey, I had a sign. I had a sign built that says "No trespassing." I saw that. Cars are not for sale. I saw that. Uh, I had a guy one time I was welding on the car, and a guy walked in. He'd seen. He's from Florida, you know. Just one trim pieces off of, for one of them donks, you know. Yeah. And uh, he, I was welding. I had my hood on, and he d- opened the door from behind me. Just tapped me on the shoulder. I mean, gave me a heart attack. <laughs> Ever since then, I, I built that sign, put it up there, and I was like. Don't come in here. <laughs> it's, uh, that was a very scary moment for me. Uh, yeah. Not very good day. You feel somebody can tap on your shoulder and you don't know who it is. <laughs> but, especially down here in Perryton. Yeah, especially, yeah, complete stranger. I mean, kudos to him for having the honeys to come in, but <laughs> no, nah, had to fix that problem. Well, sir, you fixing it? You got your guys fixing it? Nothing to fix? Just add fuel. There ain't, That's I the didn't, best I didn't time. see nothing wind. Just let her eat. Yeah. yeah. Um, that was the whole mode, and I don't – this is my old. This is a Blizzard Bash car from 2019. Uh, shout out to uh, Teddy Papadop and you know Trey Hewer that landed up on top of the roof. You know, that's you this, know, is, this is the car, Trey. I, I do want you to take a minute because you mentioned the sponsors. We, with all the chaos going on, we didn't get a list of your sponsors. Yeah, I got well, it. Uh, oh, got it? Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. Run, let's run down and give him give him a shout out. Yeah, let me put my put my old bifocals on here. Holy cow, we ain't got that much time. Yeah, That's a lot of guys. we have a lot. We have this this year, I guys. Like I said, our sponsors were tremendous. Um, we were able to raise. We already our Wheat Heart Council. We already put in a, a ten grand payout, and then I wanted my goal was to match it. I wanted to match it, and we went ahead and went a little bit over that. So I'm going to go ahead and roll that into next year. So we already have. So you, whatever already, you had over the twenty, you stopped at twenty yeah, for stopped, this show. I stopped at twenty, so I could get rest. so I could get payouts out to the public. Because a lot of guys were like, hey, what are you paying? What are you paying? Because, you know, I wanted to, I've been telling people I'm going to pay more and pay more down. Right. In which I did. We paid top eight. I mean, top eight's going to at least cover their entry fee, and it just goes up from there, you know. And uh, so our, our sponsor's local. Coming off of COVID, things are starting to pick up. Generous as heck, dude. I mean, our our biggest TNR engine compressors here in Perryton, they're our big sponsor this year. Okay. Um, Charger Services out of Midland, Texas, they were a big sponsor. OMB Tank was another big sponsor. And, I mean, the list goes on. We have, I don't know if you all want me to go through these. Uh, I would love they're to They're your people. I'd they're your people. Are, this is your show. These guys, you know, I can't think of enough. You know, uh, Gassy's Garage. Thank you. Perryton Auto, Presidio, Chua's Mexican Restaurant. Top of Texas Nutrition, Perryton Realty, F and F Plumbing, because we're nuts. Uh, because we're nuts. <laughs> they have nu- uh, coffee and okay. nuts, and they specialize in specializing in drinks, s- drinks and nuts, and uh, they're great, great, great guys. Uh, Cam and Caitlin, TK and uh, TK Windshield and Repair, Tip Top Towing, Brandon Eisman and IOU. Yep. A driver. I mean, he gave a good donation this year just because he wanted to put to the show. You know. Uh, I started, you know, kind of run with these guys back in the day. He got me into Derby. Uh, big shout out to him. He's just he's just a citizen that drives, and he said I want to put put into it. So big shout out to Brandon. All Red Construction, 4D Industrial, Watonga Cheese Factory, Hargis Trucking, Beckman Well Service, Robertson Wireline, Mikey's Liquor, and Elite Oilfield Services. I, sp- I spent some money with Mikey's Liquor today. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I've already purchased that one. We'll talk about that later. Uh, TNR, of course. Uh, the, those are my in-laws. Love them to death. Thank you, guys. Uh, the Spot in the Smokehouse. Uh, Perryton Motor Parts, our local Napa. Grass Snatchers, Total Valve, N5 Wireline, OMB Tanks, Rio Mesa Energy Services, The Pit Stop, J&J Motors. Guys, did all my, my motor uh, machine work on my motor. Uh, and my- Skyline Production, that's Michael's private company. He, he has started his business two years ago. Driver, giving back, and I kudos to that guy. I love him to death. Uh, of course, Charger Service, some issues and stuff, but I appreciate them a ton. Uh, Beckman Well Service, they gave us a loader to finish up the dirt work earlier. Luther Fire Extinguishers, Steve Wright for running, doing the, building the arena. Uh, Simon's uh, <laughs> Irrigation, running well. He didn't have to do any water work, really. God took care of that, and uh, <laughs> Alcatree General Hospital, their volunteer department, they monitored our gates, our, our doors. Uh, big shout out, big shout out to, to them guys for volunteering their time. They didn't have to do it. Denise Wilma, she's running the gate. She's part of the Weed Heart Council. She's been here through the rain. She, she looked like a drowned uh, dog earlier, just 
rain got the heck up. Well, I know putting on one of these events, it takes it takes an army to put one of these things on, and I know you put a ton of time in it, so I'm sure your community doesn't ever really thank you, but I'm sure they really do. I hope they enjoy it. I don't, I don't, you know, if they want to come up and you know give me the, I, kudos, but um, I. Uh, I'm just thankful that they, they showed up. These guys, when it was storming and raining, they never left. So whoever makes right. it. Yeah, he said there's some wet so, weather coming in. So oh. Yeah, so what he said is any of the cars that can make it to the arena, they're going to move them straight to the feature. Oh, gotcha. So they can get the, the show So running. no concert. So they're well, going to call them in for a county to qualify. Yeah. Then they're going to exit them out and start go with the limited well ma yeah. main event. Yep, and uh, we'll give out. He says there's another storm coming in. That's what they were yes, watching. Yes, I knew it was coming. Um, we've got, uh, of course, I, I sponsor my t Tiny's Mad Dog uh, trophy, um, and we give out fifteen hundred dollars for that in the feature for those guys. They get that trophy, That's take it home, and one of the coolest Mad Dog trophies. I in saw the country it. I, wanted, I got one to take a picture of. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a guy that... And, and you do something different every year. Every year we've changed yeah. it up every year, and uh, I kind of stole this concept from Kings of Ohio. Just so, you know, I'm guys, I stole your product. But I'm, I mimicked it, made it a little bit better because it has the state of Texas on it. Uh, Everybody steals everybody's. You know, but... It, I, it's what makes they, us They good. gave me the idea to in, in, to go into what we did, and, and uh, shoot, I'd love to get up to that, to Ohio and run with them guys, but we're here. And uh, there's, the Anaya brothers are circling in. These guys, they're local, been here for their dad ran here forever, a long time ago. I grew up watching his dad run, their their dad run. And uh, they've, you know, Ace right here, his, this is probably the best looking running car that he's ever no, put I, out. I spent some time with him. Yeah. He, that was a nice car. That, he, he really turned it around. I think it's a 68, 69 Buick, seven, yep. maybe a 70, I think. I can't remember. But it, it's a, uh, dude, when he got that, they pulled this out of a brown top barn, not too far, like two miles from here. And it was if it, it rats it got a hold, but it could have been a driver, no problem, low miles. How did you not find it? I found it. I just they wanted too much for uh, me. I didn't want to buy it. Buy it. I, it's not really. It's too old for me. Not what I wanted. I got. I get. I get kind of picky with whenever I have the selection. I <laughs> so, but. But do, guys, you, do, do you find when you have so many cars, you ever you never end up running them because you're always finding another one? That's the one you roll into the shop. Yeah, I, I stripped three <laughs> out, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna run these." And the next thing I find, find like a good one. The next thing you know, I'm building it. Yep. And uh, shoot, <laughs> next couple weeks I gotta go. I've gotta go to Ohio and pick up a car. No cans. I gotta go into Oklahoma and pick up another one. I got a couple down in my office in Midland. <laughs> uh, don't tell my wife. Well, heck, I just told her myself. <laughs> she won't watch this. Uh, she won't watch. Oh, yeah, she's going to watch it. She's going, oh, you got more to pick up, huh? So, He's just kidding, so, Lindsay. I'd like you uh, just understand when it gets to me, there is a video feed problem. And, yeah, uh, if y'all guys could just mute that. <laughs> just edit, uh, edit that. Edit that out. Oh, look, IOU came in. Brimmer came in. So four. Heck yeah, guys. Yeah, I wonder what happened to Kyler. I don't know. He, I, he waved at me like he was stuck. Yeah, yeah. So I saw I, him do I that. I gave him a hit, and then I went around, and he never moved he again. Because he didn't move off the get-go. Yeah, I, don't, that's, I hate that because that's a fresh car. Fresh, yeah, that's what we said. He yeah. was going to run that at Oakley, and uh, his teammate, that something happened, he wasn't even going to run this year. And he didn't want to go to Oakley, a team show by himself. And I had things going, so I didn't go. Well, Michael, Michael's my teammate. He's, you know, his business, he's been super busy. And I, my wife, she wanted to go to some vacations and stuff. So we did that and just didn't build. And uh, so I, we just took, I took the whole year off. This first derby I've been a part of this year. You know, last year, I think I built six cars last year, you know, went to several shows all over. So I kind of owed it to her. She's, right. she's good. And I told her now, I said, well, after this one, Blizzard Bash is going up, so. Uh, yeah, speaking of Teddy Papadop, coming for you, buddy. <laughs> uh, he's going to call me tonight. <laughs> Just kidding. Tell Rob I'm sorry. Ed edit that, too? <laughs> no, Teddy, no. Teddy knows. He loves Tiny. Okay. Thank you, everybody loves Tiny. You've done a hell of a job here, sir. I appreciate it, guys. I hope it's good. I hope it's just – I have full plans. A lot of different just, ideas. Just caulk the year. windows next year, please. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. Well, I've never been up here before when it rained, so <laughs> I will give them a call. I will. We'll take care of it for you guys, and I appreciate you guys coming. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the show so far. And it gets heard, I, I want to get um, the 14 year old. What was his name? Uh, Dane Dane Skaggs. Yeah, in like, the number seven. Yeah, we'd like to get it. He came up here, but we had um, Mitch up here, and he was just. I I don't know if he's if they're gonna be able to pull that car down or not. I don't know if they were, but if he's, I'll send him up here. If he's if he's not. Um, okay. Yeah, he is a sophomore in high school. Uh, but his dad. I grew up with his dad. Um, he's watched derbies his whole life. Right. Bill Lozier was having some back issues, and uh, they're friends, you know, and he said, well, Dane, you want to ride? And Dane jumped in. He didn't hesitate. He jumped in that car from what I heard, and he drove the wheels off of it. He did. He, he did held his it. own right to the end there. Yeah, he was going against, I mean, dropped Larry, his, Larry Steinbeck. and Dropped his starter Ford. motor. The starter motor dropped out, I think it was. Yeah, I think. Well, number 14, his whole starter ripped off the uh, block. It looked, yeah. Or maybe. Oh, no. So, yeah, that wasn't, it. That wasn't the. Yeah, and that kind of that's a bummer because that's my that I, Jay and I gave him that that's my spare motor. It just it just a little 350 with a mild cam in and stuff, and I just given it let us hey you know he wanted to run first time ever he wanted to get in but he was, his stepdad called me said hey does he have, you have anything a motor or transmission anything I said well I have this he wants to buy it if it's since his first year just if he breaks it he buys it or we'll work we'll work it out right, right. but I just wanted to run. And he pretty much built a lot of that car by himself. His stepdad, of course, Brandon, helped him. But, yeah, man, kudos to Jaden as well. He, he drove good. He drove very well until, uh, until that starter came off. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I seen it hanging when they dragged him out. But, yeah, those two 14-year-olds, uh, 14 or 15, either way, they're still, they don't even have a driver's license. And them guys were they're, – they're, I mean, like I said, you got Steinbeck, Court, and them guys, the guys travel all over the country. Oh, yeah. And they're out there. Not, nothing against court, court sandbagged, obviously. I watch that. <laughs> With Steinbeck, you know. Uh, that's good for them guys. Oh, I'm going to give him hell. Oh, he, he, he told me, I'm junk in this car. He says, you say that every time. Yeah. The only way he junks is if he cuts it up because he ain't going to ever drive it hard. <laughs> Two minute for the limited weld. Two minute warning for the limited weld. All right. Well, guys, I appreciate it. I'm going to get down there. And, uh, All right. I make sure I got plenty of fuel. Get ready for this final, and I hope you guys enjoy it. We will. I we plan will. on. Uh, I ain't letting out the throttle, just so y'all know. Okay. Can't, can't win two. Can't, I, I can't win two hats. I can't win my own trophy. I've already made that established, so All I'm right. just gonna hurt feelings, guys. Okay. I appreciate it. Talk to you guys a little Thank bit. Thank you guys for coming. All right. Thank you. All righty. That's the man, the legend, Tiny. He's gonna get back down, get his car done. Scotty had to go take a little break, which I'm probably going to do here also when he gets back. But they are on a one-minute, probably left clock for the Limited Weld Finals. We do have a, another severe thunderstorm rolling in, so they are just rolling, trying to get roll these two heats done before it comes in. Hopefully it's not like the last one because that was awful. And let's see where we at. 14 can run. I had to be 16 to run. Sorry, Kaylee. And who's everyone from here? So give me some shout outs where you're from, guys. Bernie, you still watching over there in Germany? All right. And then Tiny kind of confirmed that. Well, they're probably not going to have time. That's what they should have been doing while they're uh, scraping that arena while they're waiting. Even a couple passes would have been nice. But all in all, this has turned out to be, for what <laughs> for something that was about to get canceled, this has turned out to be a really, really decent show for what it could have been. So we're excited to be here, and we can't wait. Hopefully they'll invite us back next year, and it'll be dry. Oh, there's Scott. Chris Goblin from Oswego, Kansas. Micah Duncan from Wisconsin. Chad Betancourt from Kyleen, Texas. Jack Burgess from Rollins, Wyoming. Got a lot of guys that drive with us from Wyoming. So they're on a, probably 30 seconds left to get to the arena, so that's what we're waiting for, Scott. Here we go. Here they come now. We've got a... Pretty impressive list.
Josh Turner, the first one in the arena. Two Nebraska drivers back to back, Larry Steinbeck. Kyle Osborne's next. Kyle got the mad dog out of the heat. Second heat of limited well. TSL. Yeah, TSL. Peyton Mitchell. Right here. In Parrington. Justin Klein. Colby Bourne. Justin Klein, you missed. Justin Klein from Delphus, Kansas. 55X. You got him. Okay. John Rissett from Oakley, Kansas says hello. IOU. Uh, he uh, he's a little late to the show. He's in the wrong, class. wrong class. Dallas Bentley. Hey, we need a chance to win. You do what you can, right? Drop a class. Dylan Dittmer coming in. I think the other one there is uh, Ronnie Acreage, maybe. Can't see the number, it's too dark. A1. Flip over to camera four, Jake. Coming in the arena. 22, Michael Balzer. Michael Balzer. That's 12. That should be Austin Bentley. Is that what you got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, I got 13. Yep. Another one coming. You're at 14. We got our mod class leaving the arena. We'll should get the gate shut. That should be it. Johnny, this should be pretty good. I was just telling uh, the people, it says, while they had all that downtime, they should take a couple of loads off of this. 
Scrape the top. A couple passes would have been nice. go guys this is your limited weld main event this is michael balzer 15 years old out in the 22 all right i'm gonna keep an eye on him maybe we can get him a hat <laughs> they're telling them if they start stand back and they're gonna start taking lug nuts and car parts off their cars so they better get after it. A1, JBJ is uh, first one to open up the throttle. Doing donuts, but he's opening it yeah. up. Yeah. I mean, he's, got, he's got a steering problem, obviously. That's the time when you just go nuts because you got no other choice. Yeah. It's funny to watch him driving. He does donuts to get into the position he wants, and then he can nail it. Do have a fifteen hundred dollar Mad Dog up for grabs? Nice trophy from beautiful trophy. It was a tiny triple, triple layer yeah. Mad Dog cutout. Tiny awesome. old iron Derby shop. So A one is doing everything uh, he can. I think he's about nine grand and he's shifting at nine grand. All right, I got votes out there for Derek Court. Jeff Crispin says, Johnny, turn up your volume a little bit. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate that. Hopefully, you can hear me better now. See, this is kind of my gladiator. Yeah, oh yeah. I, I, I don't know. He's not doing a lot of damage, but he is working the shit out of the car, excuse my language, to, to get to do something. When he gets a shot, he's got it. Oh no, he's gonna stick himself. Nope, he got out. Oof. Red flag, something's going on. Let's see what's going on. You know, it doesn't matter what you do in the arena. When you want to shut it down, you can't. No. 
we got train horns, lights, flags, all going at the same time. Doesn't, they, matter. doesn't matter. Sirens. Yeah, it doesn't no. matter. Indoor, outdoor, doesn't matter. All right, they're talking to anyone for some reason. Who is that? A1. Ron, Ronnie Acreage. Ronnie Acreage. He said he wasn't taking the car home. <laughs> Tim Acreage. Father or brother says he didn't come to take the car home. And it looks like it. Well, he might be taking home $1,500 $1, check at least, if not more. Right. And a hat if he keeps it up, right? Absolutely. X is trying to line up on something. <laughs> he's going to blow that motor up, the tranny up, or something. I guess he's not taking anything. No. Nope. Literally. I get a better look at that. I think that's. I think that's tranny smoke coming up. He's just fun to watch right now. Oh, he lost a tire now. Oh, no. I think we got one out already. <laughs> around so you can find somebody he's like somebody get in my way all that way and didn't make a hit Well, the arena's cleaning out a little bit. They're starting to get on it a little more. That would be Ronnie. <laughs> Crowd's going nuts for him. Over That's there. good, yeah. I can hear him through all the glass. Yeah. Going nuts for him. There you go. Right. He just won the money. Mad Dog trophy in the money and a hat. That's pretty good. Came out with no steering. Wide open the entire time. Tim, be proud. He did a really good job running that car. I think I think Mike Balzer's out. 
I think he was first car out. At the far side of the arena next to Ronnie. And Dallas Bent Dallas Bentley is out. I believe Colby Bourne is out. Several good cars still left. Question is when do they start turning on each other? That was a good one. That's Osborne. Osborne won the Mad Dog in the other heat, didn't he? Yeah. You got Dittmer here, number nine. Dylan, he's strategically been putting on some pretty good hits, too. Be kind of sneaky. You know, his brother's in the heat with him. And right. Let's his brother do all the work. Well, they both know how to wheel, so. Who's in the orange car? He's about to lose his whole hood. Dallas. Dallas. Yeah. Or uh, Peyton. That's Peyton. That's the old TSL it, car, right? It, the whole skin's yeah. peeled off the one side. He's about to lose his hood. Austin Bentley is out. That M&M over here, you got him? And he's out. Yeah, that's uh, Colby Bourne. Osborne's car starting to nose up pretty hard. I think someone's getting a, a little frustrated with the pace. Making a good hit on Justin. I guess that fight's still going on. He came on. back, yeah, yeah. Just coming back from the last heat. Well, we've nar narrowed the field down. It's I think there's a black flag over there of uh, Peyton Mitchell. Josh Turner worked him over pretty hard. Mitchell is out. Is that what he just said? Yeah. yeah. Eighth place for Peyton. He'd be the local driver. Are we all out of state now? Uh, you got one more Texas driver. He's from Keys. I don't, 
I don't know where Keys is. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> That's in Oklahoma, actually. Okay, so we are all out of state. But not too far away. Oh, got a big fire. I don't know if that's headers or an engine. I think it looks like headers on uh, Osborne. Yeah, they're not jumping on it, so he's trying. There it goes. Come on, fire, fire, fire. She's running hot. Keys is Oklahoma, you were informed. Yeah. That's what... <laughs> What did we do before Google Maps? Thanks, JC and Sarah crew. <laughs> yeah, JC, where are you at? You're supposed to be defending your mad dog. Wagons hold its own, which is surprising. I, I don't think this kind of track's indicative for a wagon. My own opinion. But I don't know what I'm talking about half the time. Yeah, so. Josh Turner, so all bets are off with. Yeah, Josh has been out, he yeah. came out to Utah years ago. Turn it up a little bit now. What's up? It's the drive line causing the sparks coming out. The brakes, they got a rear brakes on it. It's a drive line brake in the center of the axle. And once it gets twisted to a point, it's rubbing on the metal. Nothing serious. So you can't stop. <laughs> Let's start voting. Six cars left. Who do you got as your top three? Give me a top three. Who do you think it's going to be? Got 
Who do you got? Wow, man, that's tough. For for me, just from experience, it's hard to it's hard to bet against Turner. Anytime. Right. And um, Dylan, um, Dylan Dittmer, and especially since Dawson's still out there, either one of them. And um, you, you can't underestimate Justin Klein. I mean, he's kind of the quiet warrior I, out there. I, I think uh, he's been calm, cool, collected, doing what he needs to do. I agree with that. Bumpers locked on these two, or are they just pushing? I think they're locked. That could spell trouble for both of them. Yep, they're definitely locked. Ah, broke free. So the guy's been fighting with all night, Justin knocks their court loose. So we got some votes on Steinbeck, Turner, Court, Klein, Turner, Steinbeck, Turner, Dillon, and Klein. Top three, Nebraska. Here's the harder ask. Who finishes in sixth place? That's as hard as the first three. Yeah, top six drivers out there, any one of them. Right now they're all I, looking I, pretty I think good. It's going to come down to something stupid, breaking the tie rod, laying over a ball joint or something, I think. Yeah. To start slowing some of these guys down. Court's got some steering problems on his left front, but as long as it doesn't lay over on him. Is it pinning though, maybe? I'll have to get another better shot on that side. Hey, 69, spin around for us so we can see his front tire. Because I did notice on these rules they had to be stock tie rods. They could yeah. be reinforced, but they had to be the stock That's, tie rods. That's uh, yeah, limited weld. It's part of the limited weld rules. back to court. Larry's using that rear end. Used it all heat. Nothing but. Derek's motor starting to heat up. Could be your first out. Thanks, Tim. Appreciate that. 
Tim says, whose parts last the longest is going to be the winner. <laughs> Jeff, you turned in, tuned in late. You should have seen it here at 5 o'clock. Go back and watch that video. You'll understand what happened. Derek Court did an interesting thing on his the front of his car. He cut those corners out. He did as an experiment. I've been kind of watching it to see how it was going to work, and it's, it looks like it's his theory behind it was pretty good, and it seems to be working. So I'll, I'm going to go check that out after the heat and see how that uh, get a closer inspection on it. about this mud is taking your car home to fix it <laughs> getting fifty dollars of the power sprayer to get all that crap off we got some separation going on now Derek and Turner on one side of the arena and the other four on the other side. We'll see if that creates a little Derek playing it really smart. David says, the guys did an amazing job broadcasting this derby. Well, we appreciate that, and uh, we apologize for some of the, the outages. And he, then he says, the winner could be whoever runs out of gas first. LOL. That could be true. But I've seen these gas tanks. They'd be running for a while. Do you have many of those long keats in what you're your shows occasionally on our bigger shows years ago um, I was talking when uh, uh, Tori shooty was was uh, promoting he asked me says how do I get rid of these this is give him a five gallon gas tank or a four gallon gas tank. Get busy or get out. He's like, that's a good idea. I don't know if he ever did it or not, but. Big hit by Derek. Yeah, pick on Klein again. Start to heat up. point that you have to realize you're 
you're heating up and you better get on it. And I think Derek just reached that point. His front end starting to push rope way back. See his front tire? It's into the firewall. Just lost the radiator completely on that one. Good hit on Larry by 69. Dawson Dittmer. Derek doing a good shot on. Back to him. Dittmore's tire starting to lay over on the driver's side. Or on the passenger side, my sorry. Dawson Dittmer timed out. I think Derek's going to time out next. He's stalled. He's trying to get his fi motor fired up again. Got it. Derek stalled again. He's running.
Yeah, Derek's just trying to keep it running, hitting whatever's in front of him. Nope, he's pulling his flag. Derek Court is out. Now it gets interesting. Do you know Randy Mikowski? Has he driven your shows? No. Him, him and uh, Turner remind me. They're almost identical drivers. Very patient. Trunk users. Yep. Both love wagons. <laughs> Down to four. So 3,500, 2,000, 1,000, and 500 we're fighting for right now. Larry doing over there. <laughs> so Larry's car is getting hot. Starting to steam out the hood. I was hoping they were going to stay paired off there for a second. Because you were not down any, none of these guys are um, running together, right? Maybe not. I mean, I mean, there's not, no brothers, not, no. Not, not, not related, no. There could be a few relations in there. 
but not anything close bond, no. So there's no, no two guys going to gang up on one. They're, they're all, it's an even fight coming into this one. Turner working that wheel over on Dipner. Yep. Soft already. Other than that, Dipner's car looks great. It's just that. Just that one wheel starting to yeah. lay over. You watch the video on the feed, it looks like you're watching a black and white movie. Everything's just mud. Someone's got to, someone's got to start opening it up for something to happen here. They're all too good just to keep pushing. They will run on gas. Ooh, that one hurt. Not the car is neck. You see his neck go out the yeah. back window. <laughs> he is doing a great job, Dylan, of protecting that wheel. He got his steering at last hit. Got him? Yep. At least his.
right wheel. Not Justin's? Yep. That last hit. Dylan put on him, got his, his right wheel. I think he paid him back right there, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that's really what's making this last so long is because they're hitting each other. They're, there's nobody teaming up on anybody. They're going after all of them. Well, I think you've sort of seen them paired off. And Klein and Turner kind of running together a little bit, and Steinbeck and Dittmer kind of running together a little bit. I normally don't have the patience to run this long. It's a different mindset coming from the, the Colorados, Utah's, Idaho's to this way where, you know, going over 20 minutes, it just, when you don't grow up driving that way, it's hard to drive that way. Finally nosed it up a little bit. A little bit. Well, they're sure packed in the middle of that track down good, though. Yeah. And Justin's really fighting that steering, that steering now. Might still be there, but I think Klein's going to be the next one out. Can't put it past him. down in the corner there for a while. I don't know if he stalled. Looks like Turner's got some steering going on. Maybe not. Just stuck in the mud. I think, yeah, I think it's muddier down there. They haven't been down there very long.
Justin had to turn out of that hit. He couldn't go right. Oh. Larry wanted that shot. Yeah. <laughs> this kind of tells you he laid off the, From the driver's door. Trying to pack Justin into that corner, but he keeps squirting out. Sound good. He is running the wheels off that little car. Amazing, you can smoke the tires in the mud as soon as it hits the hard pan.
are getting hot. Yep. someone into that soup. Justin finally out. Nope. Justin Klein finishes in fourth. Dylan's just trying to pack Larry into a hole over there. 43J, Turner is out. Tell if they're hooked on each other, or just doing the push me, pull me game. Larry's lost rubber on the one side, rim spinning. That's gonna hurt him. Might have been Larry's last push. Motor overheated. And your winner is Dylan Dittmer. Dylan Dittmer. Lynn, Kansas. Well, that was a long heat, big hugs in the middle of the arena. Good driving. All right, it's going to take a minute to get this clean. They lost one of their tractors, so I think, you know, got two tractors to get all these cars out of here. 
So sit back, relax. I think I'm going to go take a break. We'll let y'all enjoy the cleanup of the arena. And again, A1 was our gladiator. Ronnie Acreage. Ronnie Acreage. All right. I'll leave you here to chit chat, Scott. Talk about your, your shows coming up. Interviewing the winners and second place. Josh Turner right now, third place. And your winner, Dylan Dittmer, going back to Lynn, Kansas, $3,500. Larry Stein back in second, paid $2,000. Josh Turner, third place, $1,000. Ronnie Acreage right here in Parrington, going home with the Mad Dog, $1,500. Nice trophy, Tiny's old iron demo shop. Moving these cards off, we'll get the mods going. Should have seven mod cars out for the feature. Mike McElroy. Right here in Parrington. Jaron Kramer from Parrington. Trey Kelly from Mansfield via Parrington. Dace Kyle from Parrington. None other than Jeremy Tiny Lossie from Parrington. And then a pair of Abilene, Kansas drivers, Colby Black, Adam Klein. Colby is the defending Wheat Heart of the Nation Celebration Modified Champion. So we'll see if he can defend his title. Still a few fans left here. Rain delay chased a few away. Let us know if you're still around, where you're watching this from. If you're anywhere in Kansas, Missouri, check us out, cddademo.com, Midwest Championship Demolition Derby on Facebook. Got a couple of shows coming up this weekend. Saturday, join us for the Watermelon Festival in Clyde, Kansas. Have limited weld, bone stock, light weld compacts. Watermelon Festival, always a great time. We'll be featured in the Larry Jones Circle of Destruction. Then on Sunday... We'll be in Hoisington, Kansas for their Labor Day Festival. Have limited welds there, full-size bone stock, bone stock compacts, and then Hoisington going to have minivans this year. Looking forward to that, doing some minivans. 
And the week after that, I'll be going down to Cassville, Missouri with Grandstand Attractions on a Saturday. Always a good time down at Cassville, hosted by the Rotary Club down there. Then on Monday, following Labor Day, on the 12th, September 12th, join us at the Kansas State Fair Demolition Derby. It's also Dylan D Dylan's Day at the State Fair. You can get in the State Fair for a dollar, or if you have a Dylan's card, get in the State Fair for free. Demolition Derby is cheap at the State Fair. We'll have three classes at the State Fair. There'll be a limited weld class full-size bone stock, and then we will have a five-foot rule. So any driver out there don't know where you're going to pull your car, if you got an outlaw car, blizzard bash car, something that just doesn't fit in the rules, this class is for you, five-foot rule class. What is a five-foot Five-foot rule is we want to check your car for safety, make sure there's nothing ultimately too unsafe for it, and you're in. Because we're going to inspect it from five feet. Now, we will get a little closer again from, from a safety standpoint. Sorry, couldn't hear myself. But um, safety, we'll get a little closer to inspect it. But ultimately, it's a class for anyone that doesn't fit our rules. This is the class, Kansas State Fair, September 12th. Nice. It's a Monday night. I know Monday's never really a great night. But that's the night the Kansas State Fair gives us. So it's the largest uh, stadium arena that we're in front of as far right. as capacity. At What's the, that seat? Seat's about uh, 10,000. Now, we don't have 10,000 there. but <laughs> You will. It, it, give it, give uh, it a chance. On a Monday night. But uh, Always a good time at the Kansas State Fair. You can come get uh, Pronto Pups, fried Oreos. Oh, fried, love me a fried Oreo. Fried whatever, Twinkie, really. Twinkie, whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and then so it, that class is a lot like our Halloween Havoc. We, so we just basically check safety and say, you're, yeah, you're a wire, you're this, you're that. And we do it as a one and done. Are you doing a one yeah, and done? Yeah, one and done. Yeah, every, every class at State Fair will be a one and done. So we're doing one and done. And uh, so to encourage them, because it's a cleanup show. We do eight heats, usually somewhere in there. We end up with 130 cars or something like that. 1,000 for first, 500 for second, two $1,000 Mad Dogs in each heat. And they go after it. That'll be fun. Yep. Then I we'll have pretty much every class we have will be at the Speedway, modifieds, limited welds. Bone stock full size, bone stock compacts. That bone stock full size will be our point series. And then down uh, Lake of the Ozarks, October 15th, join us for Beach Bash, final show, you know cleanup that's show. That's intriguing me. You have to send me information on that one. If there's a beach, my wife will probably go. Who knows what October <laughs> weather at Lake of the Ozarks. Sweatshirt weather, maybe. That's always good. Don't know if it's really beach weather, but... <laughs> You should do it on the beach. Yeah. Casinos down there and stuff? Uh, I think you got to go across the border to catch a casino. Gotcha. Well, again, that was a heat that was won by some really good drivers. Um, I really can't say enough about it. Was it Dylan? And the, no, Justin. No wheels, pigeon toed, and drove the wheels off that little purple car. Uh, but all of them, you can see the technicality of all of them. I'm not sure what happened to Larry. He went after it. I don't know if he just decided to give it up and didn't want to burn it didn't, up. Maybe didn't want to burn up anymore. And because the motor sounded good, then maybe we can get. Uh, well, I know Nebraska fans were hoping for a win. If you're a football fan, you were disappointed today. And Derby fan, you got second and third. Not too shabby. 
Diane Faulkner watching from the comfort of home. Well, Diane's at home and her husband's here, <laughs> so I don't know who's having more fun. She's comfortable at home. I'm sure she's got a dog on her lap. And probably laughing at all of us in the mud. So we have a, how many do we have for the heavy class? We should have at least seven. If they all can pull it back in, assuming they all can. That should be good. They, they drive that middle of that track out, so those guys should scoot around really good. Marissa Dittmer, is today your anniversary, really? That's love. <laughs> Well, our next show, we're going all the way up to Plains, Montana. Wow. Plains is a little, little town. Beautiful little valley. Just just tucked into a mon just what you would picture in a Montana valley. And uh, we'll be there next Sunday. It's a Sunday derby. End of their fair show. And we're excited to uh, go to Carnage on the Clark Fork. Uh, put on by Tim Denson. Uh, it is full. 40 cars and 20 cars, 20 wire, 40 limited. So that is a uh, big um, switch from the 12 cars they've been getting. And, you know, he's, he's, this is his second year doing it, and he's doing a real good job. He's been picking my brain and Gumby's brain, um, stealing rules and tricks, and we help him a lot. And uh, he's really done a great job with those drivers and getting them to come over there, too. But that's pretty much a Montana show. There, there are a couple guys who dropped out from Washington and Oregon over there because it's on that side of Montana. Um, we need to see if let, – let's give him a shout-out because I know he's watching. Jeff Chrisman, you better be showing up there. You got some points to make up. Come on, Jeff. I think we got to go back. Marissa Dittmer and Dylan Dittmer, the winner of our, our limited weld feature here okay. today – is their wedding anniversary? So I. Think how many, Marissa? How many? Marissa just got a forty-five hundred dollar anniversary gift. See how we'll make sure Dylan remembers that. We have some poll. Can we have Tiny just write the check to her? Six years, 13 together. Well, it's got to be good if you stay together. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. That was a hell of a battle. It was. You know, coming down here and seeing all the names and everything, it wasn't going to be an easy task. It was, I was telling him, there was, that got down to the four of you, there was no friends. Nope. I mean, there was no one teaming up on one individual car. You were all evenly. Well, that's not quite fair. You know, I mean, you did have a brother in there. It's, <laughs> it's not really a secret, but everyone likes winning. Right. Right. You yeah. Know? And that's why I told him, I go, you, know, you got brothers out there. Yep. But even then, I've seen you guys. Wail on each other. Yep. Oh, yeah. Seen it. Seen that. And yep. I've, I've seen them wail on their dad, too. Yep. What happened to Larry that he, he gave up? Motor gave out. Did it? Yep. You know, it's got a lot of compression, a lot of horsepower, but he just couldn't hang with it. Right, right. So. Well, that was long. I mean, you guys, when I looked at my watch, it was 9.01, and you guys finished at 9.40, so, or 10.40. So just you you four were almost 40 minutes. Oh, that, it was long. You felt it? Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, you, you came out in the heats. I mean, you turned it up in the heats. Yep. You know, you either step up or you get left behind. It's time to play. Yep. Car toast? Your scrapper? Front's actually really nice. We're going to have to take some look at it. and We might take her one or two more times. Okay, we already told uh, Lorraine? Marissa. 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 That we're writing the check to you. We're going to tell Tiny to write the check to her for her anniversary. Yeah. So. Anniversary today. Yeah. I know. That's the hard part. There was a lot of uh, mean conversations we've had. <laughs> but yeah. 
Well, so she really forty five hundred dollars makes it smooths it well, out a little you know, bit. It helps, but it's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I couldn't do this without doing it without my kids. You know, Emory, Jericho, Blair, and Lincoln. It's it's all about family around here. Yeah. Right. You know, there ain't nobody here that won't help somebody. That's awesome. And you're out of here, Lynn, Kansas. Lynn, Lynn, Kansas. Six hours north. All right. Yeah, I got a I got a crack out of Leon asking this. So you're from Lynn? Yes, sir. Leon lives like he lives ten minutes north, th- Washington. Yeah. yeah. Well, congratulations, sir. Thank you. Now you can go uh, pop a top. I'm gonna have a couple. All right, you deserve it. You know, there's a couple hard hits there. Are gonna be a little roughed up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we saw it. Saw yeah, one, saw that. one. I was like. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, his head just went out the back window. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Yeah, it's part of the game. Yeah, price playing yeah. fun. Yeah, congratulations, sir. Thank you. All right, Dylan Dittmer, winner of the limited class, taking home well, giving his wife forty five hundred dollars for their anniversary gift. This tractor should be hooking like three at a time and just going. Put one in the bucket, one behind it. Well, we'll see if we'll see if the mod class opens up. They uh, last year put on a show. You know, every year's different, but right. last year they didn't mess around. So. So when's your next show? What, we got two next. We got two next weekend. So Sunday. Two different. Same hotel. Same. Nope. Two different towns. So. You guys are crazy. Well, what's great is when uh, when it's about a hundred and six on a Labor Day weekend. No. Yeah. Because they're daytime derbies. We do um, seven, and we used to do the one that was a two day show, and I hated it. I just, I, you guys got all the credit in the world. Yeah, we have uh, three, three two-day shows that we put on. We start the season on a two-day show, end the season on a two-day show. Oakley show is a two-day show. We did it, yeah. And it's a lot different when you're, you know, how many cars you get to show up to that? See, we don't. We don't get the counts like like you do. We don't have car counts. Yeah, we don't have sixty, eighty car, hundred. So really, and you're pulling off two days because we have uh, so many different classes. Ah. So so we'll run different classes. So we might run a ten cars each, but you well, got yeah, I mean, in a class, classes. yeah, yeah, yeah. So or we might run teams. So we'll run heats one night, and then start the next night with a concy. Okay. And then run some filler classes in the middle run a feature then to finish the night a lot of the shows around us have been going down to the one and dones because they just can't get the car count anymore and it's tough i mean it's uh, we're, we're blessed that we've had um good counts to, to, to yeah. good counts good yeah counts, i mean yeah. everyone's been averaging like 15 18 cars and and we've been in the 50s well it's like what it's like what mitch was saying um these big cars you know some years it's up some years it's down we've had some where we've had on a circuit you know limited weld where you could run two three four shows possibly out of one car we'd have maybe 40 50 that'll run a, a circuit so we could get 20 in in one show and then you'll get 20 in another show okay. but those bone stock cars so and our bone stock rules, we don't we don't play them, right. you know, and so they don't get as many runs out of them potentially. But you'll get you'll get a better count, right? You know, so and now that we run it both the, on the mini cars and the full size cars, that you you'll get twenty five and twenty five, and some shows you'll get more. And oh, you know, me and Gummy's always say, you know, we cap our shows at forty usually because twenty one for us. With a couple filler heats, 
That's a great show. Three heats of seven. Yeah. You know, two fillers, graduate of Maine. You're you're in great shape. So when we cap it at forty, though, that's why we get all the pre-signups because you ain't getting in. You just can't show up the day. Right. Of. Yeah. And it's helped a lot. <clears throat> so we before we the, my big stress this last week because I was getting ready for this show, getting ready for my show that's going on tonight, getting ready because I turn around in two days and go to planes. I had to get. I had. 20 drivers on standby list for the state fair derby the one i tell you the thirty-two thousand to show and i had, i personally had to call every driver are you sure you're gonna make it are you sure you're because these guys want in i need to know if you're gonna make it or not and all 40 of them said absolutely we'll be there so then i started calling the standby guy he says all right there's 30 days left do you have enough time to build a car do you still want to be on the list so i could shorten that list up and we got it down to a lot of them had already made other plans and everything. So we did uh, 10. We took 10 extras because we figured between now and then, five to six, seven will yeah. drop out anyways. Those guys will still get to run. They are, they don't get to be partake in the in the money, in the in money, money to show. Yeah. But now, do you reserve spots for year to year at all in any of your shows? Um, the drivers that ran the previous year have first dibs in. They just got to notify us, and they still got to register and pay on time like they're supposed to. But if they tell us ahead of time, then we just get drop them on the list, and uh, then they can get in. So a little we've, bit of a reward on that. Yeah, we've been doing that for uh, <clears throat> King of the Ring. Right. Yeah. No, you, you got to get creative. Uh, and nowadays, I mean, just... We, we, I got everyone laughs at me, and I, I don't know if you watched our older videos where we had the bus, it's called the Warwag. Yeah, and all this yeah. Stuff. Every, you know, the the drivers give me a hard time about it. Says, This is the stupidest thing ever. It says, Yeah, but I got a heat and I got you 30 minutes to fix your car. And all I do is I got a friend, I call him the hillbilly, and I give him money. I said, I need a filler heat, I don't even want to know. And he works on it all winter and shows up. You know, last year he did. He found the 1970 mail, mail trucks that turned into ice cream trucks. Yeah. And he made trailers, and we did trailer figure eights with these <laughs> 1970. It was the stupidest thing, but it was so fun. The kids absolutely yeah, loved, loved it. it. Yeah. And when the drivers say, oh, that is boring. It's it not ain't for, for you. Yeah. <laughs> it's for not the for crowd. You. Yeah. And this year they came up with a half car. They cut the cars in half and welded a 50-gallon drum on the back for a third wheel. <laughs> we'll see them again next at the state fair. But, yeah, it's just they're, they're just funny. It's, it's him and his kids and his kids' his friends, and they just. That's what they do. They just like doing it, and they get paid to do it. and So they're not out anything, and they get to have some fun and be the family. So. Yeah, you got, you got to find that balance of, you know getting the, the money up there to ke keep your drivers happy, but mm -hmm. enough entertainment value to right. keep, keep the fans happy. Exactly. Unless it rains. <laughs> well, Mother Nature, you, the you wild win. card. You win again. All in all, I was just telling me you stepped out. And I said, you know, for starting an hour and a half late, it's only 11 o'clock. That's really not bad. And had that last heat been a normal 20, 25-minute heat, we'd – We'd be rolling into the, we'd be halfway through the main right now. What do they got going on out here? Trying to strap up a drive line, probably. Wonder what took Turner out. So I just talked to my wife. She says the show's going good. They had 60 cars total. And no rain. No rain. See, I had a, I had a group that she called me and, before and says, did you not tell me something? Because I'm really anal when it comes to what I do. I'm the numbers. I get notes that like you see. The yeah, notes I yeah. So my crew got a whole stack of what to do tonight. And she goes, did you forget to tell me something? And I'm like, 
I'm pretty sure I didn't. I mean, I may have, but I'm pretty sure I didn't. She goes, a group of high school kids just showed up with their cars so they could run against each other. Did you know about this? And I'm like, yeah, they told me they only had four cars, and I said I didn't have room for them. Well, they showed up, and we're running them. I'm like, go for it. <laughs> they just wanted to have fun, finish off the did, cars. And did, did we cover everything in the notes? Oh, pretty much. Yeah. We got our let's see full contact shows next is planes. Then we're at uh, State Fair. Yeah, we didn't talk about the Lone Star Point Series. That that's nope. the Texas has their own point series. Oh, so I'm keep hitting you up on your point stuff. Yeah, so we have yeah. our point series, Lone Star Point Series. Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure any any derby in Texas that participates, they all run our rules, CDDA rules. Okay. Derek, I think, is kind of the man managing it. Yeah. So they have their own point series. I don't know if they're uh, where the championship is. So what does your winner win, or how do you run yours? Well, for Bone, bone Stock, uh, we just we throw a little bit of extra money at it. So uh, each region, I told you we had the six right. regions. So region champion. So you're actually invited to run in a heat. Yes. Okay, so ours is the ours, ours is you win, you win. So you're winning six grand if you win the yeah. points championship right out. Because by the time we hit October, there's no way for us to do another derby. So yeah, that's our point stuff. And these are the shows that we got coming up. So um, as I, I think we we're down at that point. So we go to Plains, Montana. So in ours, you have to run three stern dirt shows to qualify. And then you can pick two other shows. I don't care where they are. Larry Larry Steinbeck picked this show. Okay. So he, he got so he point, get bonus he, points, points because for, he, but he's getting points for um, advance. He gets p points for show advancing, and then a second, second place. Yeah. Um. Then if you go to one of our bonus shows, so we partnered up with Plains Montana. We partnered up with SLV Colorado Derby last week. We did um, uh, the Dam Derby this year. Uh, Wyoming, um, um, Rock Springs, Rock Springs, yep. and then uh, Blackfoot, Ohio. Blackfoot, Idaho is coming yeah. up in September. So if you go to there, just to show up to those to help them get car count, you get twenty bonus points. So if you're, and, and they're spread out, so it's not like it's all Utah. I mean, no, yeah, Wyoming, yeah. Montana, no, yeah. you know. Well, so, even in Idaho, Pocatello, Blackfoot, right? Because we get those guys. You know, we like. We picked uh, Dam Derby because we get f five to ten guys out of the Dakotas and Nebraska that run come to Utah and run two shows a year. Well, if they run those two shows and they can run yeah. a local one that gets qualified, then they can pick two of their county fairs and they make it. So it's it's, it's worked out good last year. Uh, ha Halloween Havoc is our last race of the year, and, that, and it came down to that last year. I mean, our points was within eight points of each other, you know, top first top three. And the main event, or the because it's a one and done, you only get half points. It's got to be a 20-car heat to be a full-point show. So you come into Havoc, it's a one and done, but it's worth 18 to 20 points if you – you, know, you got to yeah. win, win Mad Dog and everything right, to yeah. pack out, but it's a chance. There's always to that to chance. Throw you over yeah, the top, yeah, always so. that chance. So it, it turned there out. There we go. Chad Chad Betancourt, thank you. Says uh, Lone Star Championships in Burnett. When is that, Chad? Let uh, let us know when it is. Burnett, Texas. I wonder where Burnett is. Google that crap. Yeah, that's Google Maps. Is it right? It's fingertips. Let's see, can we get a right about. can we get a breakdown of the division winners so far this break? North northwest of Austin, or southwest of Colleen. Lorraine, are you talking about the CDDA points divisions? Is that what you're talking about? Or just tonight? Or just tonight heats. There we go. We're, oh, we're, 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 we're going. Ro we're rolling in. There we go. First ends, Marcus and Naya. We're starting. 6C, Colby Black, Abilene, Kansas. October 8th. 
Lone Star Championship, Burnett, Texas. That'll be fun. That'll be a Saturday. Jerome, it's past my bedtime. Twenty-seven, Trey Kelly. Twenty-three, Adam Klein's out there. Ace and Naya. Jared Kramer's out there. Dace Kyle. And the 51, Michael McElroy. That's everybody, huh? What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, thirteen. Is that what you got? Two, four. Should we tell him his his mound is been shortened by a foot since he's been pacing that. <laughs> All right, everybody, last show of the night, and you get to go to bed. It's only midnight on the East Coast. It's not too bad. Here we go. Mods. September 2nd. We'll go back. We'll come back to that in a second. And they are off. Tiny's going to try for two hats. He can't win two, can he? Well, he has won his own. Kind of the, the clear winner. Who's joining us for the final heat? Mr. Derek Court. Oh boy. The man who rides the brake more than the gas. I really wish I wasn't in a Cadillac <laughs> for that joust. Oh. How you feeling? I'm good. Uh, boy, that was a lot of work. That was it, a it lot was. of work. That, I did not want to be going against uh, Josh Turner in a wagon with pig stickers and a Cadillac. Yeah. No. That was, <laughs> that was work. But, I mean, that just goes to show you how much better this show is it's really done. getting. I mean, Larry Steinbeck, Dintmer, I mean, it was it yeah. was, it it was, was awesome. You, you, some guys don't like that because it's kind of slow and monotonous, but when you really watch the chess match going on. Yeah, it's on, just real it, it strategic. Really, really strategic. You know, for a long time I kept my head in it, 
and the, the motor's fine. I finally reached down again and checked the transmission slide and it was done. And I looked at everything else and I was like, you know what? I don't really want to break, break another transmission. But yeah, like if you would have told me those guys would have came a couple of years ago, I'd have said there's no way. No way they're coming here. And then these mods too, wow. It was a heck of a fun show. Yeah. For for a mud fest. Yeah. Hey, and for once, I didn't really break anything. <laughs> Just pull the car down and put the last plate on it and call it good. Ugh. All right, you're here, so you can help us go after a gladiator this heat. Okay. Trey Kelly. Give a tiny a little bit of his own medicine. <laughs> <laughs> Man, looking at this, it was a Blizzard Bash Limited belt cars from uh, 2018. And uh, they had some unfortunate luck there, too. They met Caddy Nation in the heat yeah. and got jumped. Yeah. Yeah. I looked at it, putting it together, and I was like, you're going to be here for a good time, not a long time. And <laughs> here he is in the main laying it down. Now, I will say predominantly, Kobe Black is the force to be reckoned with at this show. I mean, he Just is consistently. And who's that? This uh, 6C right 6C. here. It is well, well built motors, well built car, and patient. Feels like fighting Turner in a way. <laughs> Good grief. You and Justin had something going on there, heat and main. Hey, you know what? <clears throat> I, uh,. I never even really knew him. I just knew he was a good driver, and man, I don't know. I was just trying yeah, to. Trying you know, to we fold just that assumed forward. there was a little, uh, uh, little grudge going on because Trey Kelly just just buried tinies. Oh no! Yeah. Oh wow, that thing is bent. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, uh, no grudge at all. We got out, shook hands, and I said, "Dude, you were just the person I knew the least." So <laughs> I bet she's gonna be a little sore tomorrow. I tell you what, Anaya's GM out there definitely looks stout. He's a local from here, and the white and purple one, uh, yeah. eighty-eight. Yep. Yeah. The yeah. blue and yeah. Uh, yeah, he doesn't have a sign. He doesn't on. have a sign on. Yeah. I love that yeah. sign. I want yeah. that sign. Tiny was telling us about that car. I looked it over. I talked to him for a good twenty minutes or so over in the pits, and good kid, good family. All the, they're all involved in it. And man, they are a hell of a car. consistently getting better. When I first got here, I always thought the mod cars should have been in limited world. <laughs> and uh, it, it's awesome seeing what the area is starting to produce. Yeah. Get out of that mud, though. You know what? For the most part, I was super worried about the track, but it it wasn't terrible. While we're making point, I mean, Larry was laying smoke down on his rubber, on his rear tires. I, Once he hit the hard pan. I couldn't tell you I wish I was in a Buick or an Oldsmobile like that battle, but I had a lot of fun with the caddy. Red flagging going on now. Let's see what's going on. So you got three out, right? Yep. Three out, and who's that over there? Double zero? Yep, double yeah, zero. That's Brandon, out. Brandon Eisman's out over here. Kyle Bremer and uh, Kyle Bremer builds a good car too. Marcus and I. Uh, oh, we got a bumper. I tell you what, though, that is probably the most mud I've ever had. Eaten everywhere. Eaten. <laughs> I, I got out and I shook my pants off for like five minutes. <laughs> Just rolling. I was telling Scott the worst part about this is you got to go spend a hundred dollars on power washing to fix it. Fix I was watching car. it just push through the transmission tunnel. <laughs> and then uh, I had the back of the floor cut out for the slider, and it would just sling it all throughout the car. Uh. Oh, got a sign working, kind of. <laughs> I think that should be mandatory in every car. That's pretty cool. At least you know who it is. All right, turn your sign off when you're out. Yeah. It's a hell of a thing. You need to invest that's a, in that. That's a I great think, idea. Yeah, right there. Heck yeah. Well, I mean, 
I'm not for it unless they all make riff signs like mine. So I'm got a lot of sponsors, a lot of great people. Uh, Nick Schumacher, Sh uh, show had fantastic transmission. I was real mean to that thing, and it didn't move. I really expected a lot more trannies to be fried on the mud. I, I mean, like I said, that goes to to the quality of the guys that were here. It was all good drivers. I whistle this too. I mean, there was a couple fifteen-year-old kids out there yeah. going out there having a blast and and, and keeping up. First-time derbies yeah, too. And keeping yeah. Up. It's always neat in Parrington too because I mean I got guys calling me buying parts looking for anything I got you know something not new but to get them into it and, man they're all about it and it's exciting to see in a world where you think derbies are dying starting. yeah everybody keeps talking like they need a bone stock class here and I'm like man the limited well and the mods are still going pretty yeah, strong they're supporting it there's no reason to bring them in no I could see a you, you I could see a youth class. I was going to say you could do a true 12 to 14, 16, 15 year old class. I, th I think that would take off here. Ooh. How many uh, how many mod cars you see with Buick rallies on the front? One. <laughs> That's impressive. Still got a whole stack of those. I got a few. And I has lost a front rubber off his rim. You know, you got tiny. And uh, uh, McRoy in there too, and they're just still ticking along. While we're watching this, we were just before the heat pulled in, we were trying to talk about the Lone Star Point Series. So oh, it's, yeah. It's in uh, September 2nd, Bell Country Fair, Belton, Texas. Belton, Texas. That one's coming up this Friday. Um, that's an indoor show, and uh, the winner wins a belt buckle. Mr. Mike Tix won that last year. Right. So that was one of the ones I'm hoping to go knock off my list, too. Now, is that the last points race for that? Nope. Our very last points race is going to be in uh, Burnett, Texas, October 8th. Um, great payouts. I think we're going to try and get $500 all the way down to 6th. And uh, they have a street dance the night before. And it's it's definitely a smaller little track, but it's, it's a heck of a lot of fun. Is it? That will be our last show of the year. But, man, if you run Chad Markley's shows, you could run any Texas show now. We're all unifieds in the point rules. And, uh, yeah, it just makes it easier. So you, you want to get out and come to Texas, come on. And make it a vacation. It, 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 it just blows my mind. I get so many drivers from out of state that come to Utah, and they're like, as soon as the derby's over, they're driving home. And I'm like, why, why are you driving 13, 14, 18 hours? Come yeah. on a Thursday, Friday, First couple times I did, out. I hit Moab up. Yeah. Love that place. Zion Park, I mean. But same thing in Texas. A lot of our shows have dances or festivals, uh, state fair. They're having major country concerts, and when you buy an entry into it, you get passes for that all weekend. I know Tiny, Tiny's been working real hard here, too, <laughs> um, trying to get a whole lot more going with this derby. So big things to come. I mean, the payout here alone is great.
I'm not sure what a chain gang is, Chad, but you have fun running that. Chad says I'm running a chain gang class. That, that's at uh, Bell County Fair. Chain gang class. What's the chain gang class? You got me curious. Dude. Yeah, I, that's what I'm. I thought he spelled it wrong. I was making fun yeah, of him, maybe, but maybe, maybe I'm not. Maybe Chad can tell us a little <laughs> bit more about that. Somebody's out down there in the corner. I can't tell who it is. The only one that's been backing up and really trying to get a shot in. Oh, that car looks good. It's just going to come down to his equipment. Right. Chain and bang. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Back to the basics. You know, most of the derbies here a little bit, I don't want to say, they're more western than they've been, but once you start getting kind of the Kansas and the Nebraska guys in, it, uh, it definitely slows the pace down. It, it, it's so much more a chess match, even in the mod cars, because these guys just used to see who could knock each other out. Right. Like the whole derby. And I'm sitting over here like, I ain't never going to get in one of those. Yeah, that, that, that's, the old, that's the old days in, in Utah when all those guys came Kansas, and um, our guys would just junk it because oh. they just wanted to take them out. And they just smile. Oh, yeah. Just, just. Bit of a hard time steering flat, with that tire going issue. down on the yep, right. Yep. Uh, I was looking at. Uh, I think both of them are flat. I got to say it. I'm. I'm still really impressed. Tony has got that car in there, man. That thing was. It was so hurt. He was just cutting the centers out of the hump, <laughs> trying to pull them back out. And he didn't even put one side with a, a hump plate on it. He just put a plate on it and called it good. <laughs> Definitely impressed with his driving. Uh-oh. Got a fire in the onion scar. Oh, mm. it's out. Keep going. Well, for what he accomplished and pulled off, that, that's he's my vote for the Gladiator. I mean, from the build. Twenty-seven's been doing some work. Trey Kelly. Yeah. Yeah, he has. You know, when they stay in that tight pack doing their thing, it's hard to to differentiate anything. See if it fires back up for him. Yeah, I plan to be up here a whole lot sooner, but uh. I got cleared once with the core support, so that took some doing to get a little <laughs> bit of work done. And uh, and all the water and the rain, you just, you're oh, standing was, in four inches of rain in the pits. That was brutal. You missed it in here. We had to plug all the holes. We had water coming through all the equipment. See it? <laughs> it was shorting out. We lost the feed a couple times due to that. And Good grief. Yeah, I don't know how long we sat in my truck, and then we all went in Tiny's trailer. <laughs> Trying to get that driver's meeting started. Man, I was scared it wasn't going to happen. I wasn't worried about the arena. I was worried about the, the finishing the inspections and getting them in here. And Yeah, we were pretty fortunate that most of the drivers showed up early, which yeah. is yeah. abnormal. <laughs> Very abnormal. Especially for this show. 
Well, I thought it was fighting. It was almost, I think, 90% of them drove in today. Yeah. Most, most out of town state, you come in Friday at least, you know, trailer problems or whatever. Most of Kansas guys aren't that far. Even, even I think for, uh, I don't think McCook's too terribly far from here. What is it, five, six? Six. six yeah, hours. about six. I think it's about six, six well, and a half. What do you says, Trey Kelly for the hat. I think I'm Carlsbad's right at six too. It's not terrible. Thick. Oh man. Thick and I has lost his tranny. I don't know. Maybe one legged. He's just may not, not he's just not, not going nowhere fast. May not have any plug wires on that side. <laughs> And he must have lost his front bumper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I love it. I mean, Dallas Kyle's done real good also, man. He is He's hanging in there. Would be this one right here. Looks like a uh, maybe an Oldsmobile. Possibly. He's taking his time. Nothing looks hot. Bumper? No, nope, I mean, another fire. Anaya's second fire. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, that's hard to watch. All right. Pretty sure he's got to put that motor in his yeah. Blizzard Bash car. <laughs> Needs all about it. Uh, it's awesome. Yes. I saw a lot of fluid come out of that car. I don't know what they're looking at. It's tranny, tranny cooler, maybe. Oh, look at the tinies as they're flagging. Yeah, no, I saw a big, see. maybe it was tranny cooler. Yeah. Yeah. He's got a keg inside there. He made a tranny cooler. Yeah, it's, it's probably cracked. There. Yeah. <laughs> tiny will just sit there. I don't know if he's going to, we may have to cut him out of that car. Yeah, he, uh, he isn't going to go quietly. I don't think he's gonna fix that one. No, I think he's pretty excited that one's gonna be done. McRavoy's still hanging in there, man. Just biding his time in that caddy. That was a heck of a run. <laughs> Ooh, that oh. is a 
good one. Man. I totally get it, though. You start to lose steering, and you I was just you, looking for somebody to yeah, hammer. That's what I figured. It, it, it was just frustrating, too. <clears throat> McElroy died on him. Yeah. Yep. Did he lose the tranny? No, he's not running. Usually that thing stays pretty cool. It is a methanol motor. They're down to three, it looks like. In the money. Who's that? Oof. I'm going to try and push him in a hole so he can't turn out of it. Yeah, it might be time to go to the other side of the track now. <laughs> you see everybody. Yep. Everybody is going to go absolutely insane for a hometown guy to win it. <clears throat> Everyone's over there like, don't. <laughs> stay away. Stay away. They're going nuts. <clears throat> so Trey Kelly is a hometown? Hometown. Hometown via Mansfield, Louisiana. There we go. I think they'll take it. Oh, yeah. He's got turned, but is it going to be enough time? A minute goes by quick. He's backing up more. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Full shot. Go One on. time. Go. Man, that's the first time in a very long time. Long time. A hometown and guy the has mod won class. It. Oh, yeah. yeah. Heck, yeah, it is. Too bad the crowd wasn't here to see that. <laughs> oh, wow. And I think he got a hat. I, I, you know, we got a couple extra. I think we should do two. I think we should do Anaya. Ace. Yeah. <clears throat> and Kelly. I think so. Oh, that's awesome. And, and frankly, I'd give him the Mad Dog, too. Kelly? <laughs> I mean, I know it's a lot of money, but. Hey, if it's earned, it's earned. I mean, the only other one's tiny. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I I will say this. I, I think Tiny gets a hat. Tiny got a hat. Tiny got a hat. He got a hat. I wasn't oh, giving him two. Tiny got a hat. Him him two. Now I gotta hear about that. He has a hat. <laughs> yeah. Now he said he's like all I wanted was a hat. Oh, on the window sill. Hey, you wanna let's get Ronnie on here? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got a quick interview here from Mad Dog from the Limited Weld. <laughs> Off camera. Yeah, yeah. There that, we go. I, I handed it to him. Right. <laughs> How did it feel to win Mad Dog? I, 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 it was enjoyable. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get to make it to the end, but, you know, uh, I had trouble in the heat race, pushed my frame rail, and my tire was making it where I couldn't steer. So, and as y'all guys saw, I, I had to make it down here to the end. Oh, yeah. So, well, uh, before they called you, we called you. Good. You good. get the one of a kind. Thank you, sir. Man, that was a heck of a run for what you had. Yes, I, yes. I never yeah. talking to you in the pits, and you said you were going to send everything yes, you had. You yes, did. Yes, I, I, uh, me and, uh, my pit crew that we work out of my shop. Uh, so who is who's Tim? Is it Tim? Is that, somebody was. <laughs> it's your last name, so. 
Oh, my brother. This yeah, brother? my brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's like, my brother. Woo! He was yeah. freaking out, honestly. Yeah, actually. yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, he he drives a truck, so he couldn't be here. That, but uh, yeah, me and my buddy Brent, we we built out our shop. And we we built some pretty good cars. Oh yeah. Yeah. Derek knows us pretty good. Yes, so, sir. Yeah, we built some pretty good cars, and uh, unfortunately, this year we didn't have time to build some new cars. You were on and, a mission. Uh, we uh it it makes it kind of bad my wife uh we i was gonna run her car uh she had cancer a year ago and uh she didn't get to run so her daughter run her car last year and i was gonna run her car this year we got ready to load it up on the trailer and we had some issues so i didn't get to bring it uh so uh me and brent like i said we we built out the same shop, and uh, he decided that, hey, this is the car we built together. You go ahead and run it. And I, I told him, I said, well, I'm going to send it. It's my motor and my trans, it, his rear end, and uh, I'm going to send it. And he's like, go for it, brother. And uh, the heat race turned out pretty good, pretty decent. And then uh, the feature race, I was like, I can, I, I can only do so much. So. I just went ahead and said it. Uh, you were you were at nine grand and forwarded oh, and, yeah. and never that, hit the brake to shift. And yes, you was, were. It was just nuts. That that three eighty three that Alan Judy bit for, uh, built for me is is more than awesome. Uh, that that thing has more power than anybody can imagine. <laughs> so uh, I went ahead and sent it. Unfortunately, it caught a fire over there, broke a valve cover, and it caught a fire. And that was all I could do. Unfortunately. And it still won't start. <laughs> but uh, we'll figure it out when we get there. But All right, sir. We'll appreciate yeah, it man. again. The yeah. only way you get this hat is on this show. So Yes, sir. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah. Love all you guys. It's a pleasure. Eric, you babe. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow. So we get to pick the Mad Dog, huh? That's going to be. Well, you go ahead and vote. <laughs> well, they're waiting on us. You know. Well, I mean, really, it's between. Because Tiny doesn't want it. That's what it comes I, down he to. He will not take it. So right. we're saying it's between it's Kelly Anaya and Kelly. And Kelly. I'm, I'm going to say Anaya. That's, that's me. So the last one has to be stuck with the decision. <laughs> Here's the thing. Non-biased. Here's the thing. It helps the show. Right? I think so. Yep. I mean, yeah. he, he put some hits on, kept her going. He did. Yep. He, you know, for, from the gladiator standpoint, he did what he, all he could yep. do. I think, yeah. To, to, to pull it off. And, and that's what we were looking for. Yeah. Is I, I'm still going to say The guy that gives it, it all. Mod car factory Buick rallies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Okay. I like it. Yeah. Anaya. Anaya. Here we go. Johnny's going to shout. Anaya. What? 88. 88. 88. Then here's 88 is your mad dog. Tiny for the trophy presentation. Boy, that's a big thing this year. Them winning, Parrington, the hometown, winning first and a Mad Dog. Man, Man. That's, that's impressive. Like I said, y'all want to come down to this show? You can talk to any one of us, give Tiny a call, give Chad a call. Um, Just turn off the faucet before you come, please. <laughs> Because it, I guarantee you, it is a heck of a show. Th this would have been a nasty show had that track been tacked up the whole thing. Oh, yeah. there, man. Last year. I, don't, I don't think you would have had. Yeah. Half the cars in the main events. I think I'll have been jumping. Oh, yeah. I, like I said, the, the level of competition every year is just stepping up. This is a ridiculously hard show now. And it's, but it, it's a lot of fun. You yeah. want to come drive with some of the so, best so drivers in the so country. So don't think you're coming here to, to win a hometown local no. show anymore. No, it's a, it's a whole different ball game. It's, it's strap yourself in and hold on. So. All right. Well, we're going to sign off. We're going to say hey. thank you. Scott, appreciate it. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Thank Derek, you. Thanks for all the work you did here tonight. You know, that's great. <laughs> uh, thanks for joining us tonight. Again, we apologize for the glitches in the rain, but it was a heck of a water storm. and electronics do not mix very well. So we are what we are. 
And enjoy, everybody. Drive home safe. Go to bed. Have a drink. I'm going to go have a drink. Drink. I'm going to have a couple. All right. See you, everyone. See you.